What is going on, everyone? And welcome to the Cl to the Coliseum Global presented by Hitbox. Hope you guys are having a wonderful one. We've had to push this thing to a Saturday, and we are here. What's going on? Tekken Master is on the mic with me. I couldn't be more excited for that. What's going on, buddy? How are you, brother? Uh, it's good to have you here with us, and I'm excited to comment this with you. The Middle East tournament. Uh, uh, presented by the Coliseum. So we'll see. Absolutely. Sorry. I was getting double audio for a second. I was messing up on, on my end. That was on me, guys. I apologize. Tekken Master, everything is working right now. We are good to go. Middle East, baby. Tell me about uh, it. Let's do it, bro. East portion of the world. You guys don't get enough love, enough tournaments, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of something here. Yes, you, I, I know that you guys have been watching all these North American events throughout the years i'm sure you guys are watching combat cup and war of the gods going fuck them they ain't giving us anything and you know what that's what we're here to do today baby and i let me tell you guys, i'm a huge fan of tekken master so to have him on on the mic with me is just a, a dream come true there's a lot of big kotal con energy on the microphone right now that i'm living yeah. for uh, i really look forward to commentate one of these middle east tournaments with you so we have really exciting matches coming, especially in top eight. As uh, now, uh, I guess we are still in top 16. Uh, it's Aziz versus Reaper. Ooh, and um, wait, yes. That did just wrap oh, up. Oh, so Reaper, uh, Re uh, Reaper didn't uh, play Vixen yet. So the winner of that will play against Aziz. And on the upper side as well, we have Wasim versus Magic Lion. I think Magic Lion is not attending he, he, this tournament. He did just get DQ Tekken Master, so we'll see oh, okay. in the winner's side of top 8, and we'll face the winner of this next match that we're going to have on stream, because Reaper uh, VXN just wrapped up, and it was 3-2. We were talking about how that one was going to go. Oh, yes. Reaper yes. won it 3-2, and it's going to be Reaper versus X Aziz. It's going to be a winner's top 16 match that we're going to have on stream for you guys to start off, and then we also got um, Fastful Combat going up against Mr. Black. They're going. Yes, Mr. Uh, Black has eight. beaten Yasser uh, with Scarlet. Yep. So this is considered as an upset. Yasser is really a well known player from Iraq. He plays with Joker. And uh, also, we have Hamu versus Sonki. Yeah. They have started since like 14 minutes. We don't know what's happening. And uh, my heart is already beating fast <laughs> for them. For, for them. Uh, ha, yeah, I'm already beat. Look like, how many game zombies. fives have already happened, Tekken. There's so many game fives in there. That are oh, yeah, down. I can Re see that. <laughs> Reaper 3 2 over VXN. Mr. Black was 3 2 over Yasser. And, and Hamo 3 2 over Hunt. Hunt's currently facing Kaiba in the loser's bracket. Um, yeah, yeah, Kaiba, I don't think uh, he's there. Kaiba also. Um, oh, is he there? Did he check in? Because he got the cute from winner side, and um, he told me before that he retired from competing in Mortal Kombat, and uh, now he's going against some zombies. Maybe he's still there. We don't know. Yeah, maybe we will find out. But let me go ahead and get us going here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some invites out. Let's 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 get us started here, Tekken Master, um, as well as push some stuff because not only are these guys playing, just you know for the competitive spirit of things but we're also trying to get them some money here so everyone in chat by the way welcome i haven't talked to the chat yet hope you guys are doing all right exclamation point Macharino in the chat let's get that prize pull up we had near 300 dollars for both oceania um and pacific um i we do need to change that 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 is the pacific one that's on us Ricky around the background i heard you giggle we did <laughs> change that one thing i wish that we were at 281 dollars already <laughs> I wish yeah. we were $281 already. Um, I will get you that for Rao um, in a moment. There's so many mm. things about this production that you guys, <laughs> just don't, that you guys just don't understand. He's just laughing in the background. At me. My, my producer is just laughing at him. Yes. Listen, we, there's a lot of... Only us can hear him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The, the yeah. one thing, we were so close to having it all perfect. We, we, we were one off right there, but... The link is in the chat. Use um, use code Colo3 to uh, add to the prize pool for these guys to play for. Um, if it's below $500, top four is going to get paid. If it's above $500, everyone in top eight is going to get paid. Yes, these guys deserve definitely uh, the donation towards them. So guys, if you can help them. So Aquaman can do us more tournaments here. 
Let's show them the support we can do. Yeah. Get Anyways, but, uh, for Reaper and Aziz, and I'm excited to watch Aziz Tekken Master because he he said he was praising the sun last round. He said he was rocking the, Kotal Khan. Yes, he, he actually beat my brother in round two. Uh, his name is Tekken Legend, but actually his uh, username is Undertaker from Combat League. He always play in Combat League, but here in Smash, his name is Tekken Legend. So, yeah. Is that is that a family thing? You guys just um, taking something godlike? Uh, <laughs> no, not really. Actually, actually, he was the one who who named me Ticket Master. He created a Facebook really? account for me. Yes, he created a Facebook account for me, named me just Ticket Master, and uh, I went with it. So props to him for naming me that. Can I ask you, um, if Kripple, is he a younger or an older brother? I am the, the youngest in the family, actually. Ooh. So he's older than me by six years. He was the one who. Like was traveling with me all these years from 2010 until 2016, uh, when I didn't have any sponsor. He was sponsoring me, That's so incredible. I, I owe it I to him that, that I reached to this position. <laughs> well, shout outs. Yes. So That's he's still in losers. He can represent me very well. <laughs> Got a win down there. Um, took it 3-0 over uh, Zombified Ninja, and it's and it's your brother versus VXN right now on the. Yes, yeah, this is going to be a tough one. I wish I can see see it, uh, but uh, we will have to wait until top 16 so we can stream the matches from winners and losers. So, a guaranteed stream match will be Reaper versus Aziz until now. Wasim already made it, made it to top 8, and Faisal uh, Combat is already playing against Mr. Black, uh, the Scarlet player. I think he's from Saudi Arabia. And we have Hamu versus Sonki. Uh, for some reason, the set didn't end until now. Maybe it's going down to the wire. 2-2, two, yeah. two, last game, last round. The I same thing happened. Uh, yeah, Hamu versus uh, Han Zombies, man. This match, we, could, we couldn't see it. Uh, Han Zombies, I think he plays from Xbox. <clears throat> and uh, Or he uses the Xbox controller. And uh, I wanted him to play in this tournament just to show showcase Kotal Khan for you. <laughs> He's the best Kotal Khan we have here in the Middle East. And uh, unfortunately, today he had uh, a final exam, so he's tired. I forced him to play, actually. Aww. But, uh, yeah. I, still, it was uh, the, down do to, to the last game. <laughs> no, he's still losers, so we'll see. And, and Zombies versus Kaiba, the Citrion player as well. Yeah. I I, I got some invites out for Aziz versus Reaper as well, so we can finally get the show on the road and get some matches for you guys. Let's do it, guys. Here today, we have Tekken Master in the building. Tekken Master is in the building, talking about the Middle East scene with us. We're going to be watching some Middle East action. We see all the guys in the chat, and uh, thank you so much Definitely. for here, everyone. This is the no problem. Thank you, actually, for, for doing this for us, man. Globally, not, not only for the Middle East, man. You've been really doing some crazy work in the NRS scene in the, the last couple of years especially with God of War oh, I mean God of uh, what was the name? War of the Gods? God of, yeah, you, well, well, yeah. War? I mean that was a really good game too not gonna lie God of War was pretty of the good God. Tekken thank you for the compliment War of the Gods I, I was watching each uh, week of it actually um, I was like really learning from it Especially watching uh, Simij and Combat, they were like going oh. against each other each and every week, man. Simij and um, Combat, this is where they created a name for th for themselves. This is why I'm retired, because I had to commentate Catwoman every single week, and we got ourselves a match here. <laughs> <laughs> Catwoman, yeah. I remember uh, every week there was like uh, Catwoman. Yeah. Oh, every. Oh. Do you remember when it was. Um, uh, it was did did you invite me or. or... You should be able to see it on Discord. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. I am saying. Okay. All right. So this so, is this is is are these? I know Aziz is Bahrain, and so is Reaper actually. Okay, cool. Yes, yes. Uh, Reaper and Aziz, both of them are from Bahrain. They are the best players here, alongside myself and Sonki as well. Sonki, who's going with Hamu now? We don't know what happened. But we'll update you guys, but for now, we have XRZ's starting with Quater Khan. We have here Aquaman's main character, Quater Khan, getting represented by Aziz. 
This is this is the only. Oh my goodness, he tried to make a massive read right there. I, I, I wonder if he was just reading a forward two that, perhaps from Aziz right there. Oh. Yes. Actually, these guys played against each other in first round of Pro Competition Finals, and it went in Reaper's side. He won 3-0 uh, against Aziz. Aziz mercyed him in the first game, but he ended up losing it. But it was actually uh, Fujin versus Kotakan, but now... Mm, I think... Ooh, the first oh down too! Wow, that was yeah. bold from Reaper. I mean, that was pretty bold from Aziz as well to go for a regular throw with Kotal Khan. Because in how many situations they were, that you do regular throw with Kotal Khan where you say, yeah, because, because it was just so much better. <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. But did he equip it? Uh, I, I didn't see actually. Ooh, you're right. Maybe he, he's playing awful safe right now. Maybe that's discus. Yeah. <laughs> Resets neutral right here. Ooh, the weight dash up regular throw again. He's getting really ballsy. I think he's really trying to bait out those uh, KBs once that once that extra Ooh. damage loaded. Oh, that, that is going to be Yeah. Hard. Reaper could have punished uh, Kota Khan's for a whiff for 2 4, but maybe the nerves, they are playing a huge role. First round always. Oh, what? Without a hit confirm? Back 3 2 and 2. Oh, it's 4. Wow. Hey man, we're out here swinging. I mean, that's the second time too from Reaper. I wonder if he's just. Wow! Like, what I, the I, I, I mean, yeah. It goes from that to a gorgeous flawless puck. What's going on right now? Yeah, Reaper man. He always tells me tells me that he doesn't have a reaction. That's why he cannot confirm as a back three, back three two or whatever. But he's doing way better now. Oh, it makes a big green on the totem as well. Yes. I think Aziz needs to stop using 4 to 4. Oh, what? Why, why would you break, man? Why would you break? We always say that. Why would you we break, break against yeah. him? Go the gun, but I still do it. I still break against him because <laughs> we're just used to break whenever we are in the air. Again, and, will and, we see a comeback? I mean, with the totem activated, it doesn't matter. Just get the 1 2 out there. What a Jedi mind read oh from my Reaper. God. Right there. He and was walking. Yes, he was walking down to Reaper with Kotakan. Aziz has no fear, man. I don't know. <laughs> this guy can never be conditioned. Trust me. <laughs> okay. So, Reaper lately has been using a lot of uh, sub zeros because he's been working out for him. I actually just played against him in the grand final yesterday in ESL. He picked up. Uh, sub zero for me, and uh, he came from losers, and I was in winners. And actually, he resetted the bracket against me. I, I picked up uh, Kitana for him, and he was mixing me hard. He played really Ooh. well. But then after reset, I said, just fuck it. Let me use <laughs> Cabal and just uh, punish him for, for for his mix, you know, properly. Yeah. <laughs> when in doubt, just punish someone for forty percent. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> It's a good, like well, whenever it's a good you pick a high damaging characters like Giras, uh, Cabal, uh, Jackie, they are afraid of mixing you up with the four two. So mm -hmm. this is how you control the nerves the of, thing, of zero players. <laughs> the same thing could be said for this matchup too. If Kotal Khan gets those totems out, because every not a lot of people realize just if you get one totem out and you can get one totem out so easy. In this game, and you can and you, and you can even safely get it out on block off a down three on hit, etc. With that one totem, you could do like forward one two into the cut, and you're still getting almost a quarter life guarantee. Yes, yes, yes. You know, like it's it's mm. pretty insane. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, round two starts with uh, Aziz sticking to the same character. He loves using the AX disc to keep himself safe. Mm. The mix straight from. Reaper. He just wanted to avoid the mix right there and end up jumping right into it. That's a win win. And these, every time Aziz jumps, I feel like he's dying right now, Tekken Master. Yes, uh, Aziz, Aziz is refusing to block, bro. What the Sometimes you have to. And I'm, I'm, I mean that with an asterisk next to it. Sometimes I feel like you have to hear an K11. He is going in. Empty jump into the down three. That was such a cold calm thing to do right there. <laughs> yes. With the interruption and beautiful walk back by Reaper to get out of that stupid range of the Kotal Jump one. That's true. He didn't amplify it. Wow. Okay. Now you amplified your eyes. <laughs> Why didn't you amplify the creeping yeah, eyes? Creeping eyes, right? Uh, <laughs> always use your balls, use your resources to win the round. Don't you ever try to be greedy and lose the whole. Oh, wow, what a. 
You can interrupt uh, the X cat from Otakon by doing like a mid or low. But he interrupted with the floors block up two, which is the safer option there. Okay, the slide. Wow, Reaper is playing out of his mind. I don't think that he has he's... made a wrong read in like four minutes straight, Tekken Master. Every time he's yeah. swung, it's either been blocked by Aziz or hit like. It's been hard for Aziz to even get a turn right now. Uh, if you don't want to block against Sub Zero, you, you'll get hit by everything. You have to accept your fate and uh, try to <laughs> react. Somehow you have react to, to his other cards. And yeah. get it right. Okay, here we go. Big damage in the side okay, switch okay. now. And he's he hit one the fatal touch. Board. He's gonna shimmy with the force. No, he, he grabbed him. Oh, may have worked, may have worked. He's lost in the sauce there. I think Reaper, every time he's done a poke on block, he's back dash back three, everything. So he's he's getting away with a lot of those. Just down ones and then the aggression afterwards rather than as he's trying to check him with a poke and gets sent yeah. through the icicle of I death. think he anticipated a stagger from Sub Zero, like one, two, because Zero on block. All of the Sub Zero players, they do it. So he read it and uh, yeah, so Aziz is just not blocking. He's not blocking. This is the title of the match. Aziz not blocking. But, but Reaper, we have to give him like a huge shout out for his amazing uh, reads and gameplay. As far as the set is going, Reaper playing way better than he did in the pro competition finals. Yeah, he is. Where he got, uh, I think he got fourth. No, he got fifth. Yes, he got sixth. Ooh, Aziz saying, you know what, Papa Khan, not Let's doing go. it. Let's go. Maybe, maybe Sitrion, Aziz. He, 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 he was looking at Sitrion. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, is he going for the Highborn? Okay. No way. There's no way Aziz picks Highborn right here, Tekken Master. He doesn't have the no, ball. Actually, he does. He he picked her up yesterday. He, he, he still uses. Yes, he still uses her up. He still believes in her. And, I'm gonna add. Uh, I'm gonna add more money to the pot just because I was so wrong right there. <laughs> Chat. Who do you think uh, would win? Can Aziz make the reverse 3 0 or will Reaper still manage to take the set and proving to Aziz that his win in the pro competition final wasn't by luck? Okay, he's doing it now with Sub Zero. I really like um, Reaper's uh, Sub Zero, he improved a lot. But let's see, let's not underestimate Aziz, the Kitana loyalist from years. Okay. Oh, nice block from Aziz, blocking the overhead. Yes, start blocking Aziz, you will do better. I think that that kind of naturally came with a character that he almost has to play more more defensive with. Uh, I, I mean, I, I guess not so when you have Katana jump too, but with Kotal Khan, he was just kind of all over the place in neutral. And you could tell that he was kind of afraid of Sub Zero's character, but it looks like he's standing ground a little bit more. He's going to have to eat up a mix up here, unfortunately. And just holds yes. up again after the down one. I feel like he's he's losing out on his turn every single time right there. Yeah, the good thing in this matchup is that Kitana can low profile oh! the Sub Zero's down one with the down oh, three, but no, oh, oh one oh the mix Okay one more correct with the fatal blow. Which, oh, why did you jump? It was plus on blow. The jump kick is plus. Because he did a delayed jump kick with the sub zero, but Aziz not wanting to get conditioned by any means. Oh the flawless block out too. Blocking. Mm, that one was but a little. These guys they beat each other a lot, so he knew that the Reaper would first block his jump in, so he blocked it. Again, from Reaper, uh, he's going already uh, 2 0 and 1 round, so why not mix? And uh, since the re reward is high, I think Reaper needs to slide those dice because he can punish them. He slides. Yeah, okay. Down one. Yeah, Aziz is trying hard with the Kitana, but her nerves to her re razors. She requires a lot of resources now with her meters. Oh, he, he couldn't punish with the back one. I think he Here we should go. have done the oh. one too. Oh. Oh, and no commitment from him on that jump two. That could have been huge. Aziz! He's oh. the help lead and, and, and multiple jump twos have worked right oh now. And God. then the, the Reaper oh, special. Oh, that's it. That's it. It's Aziz is sent to losers bracket from Reaper. Reaper qualified to top eight. Congratulations. Best Reaper reaching to top eight with Wasim. Hard luck to Aziz. Hard luck. Uh, I respect he his pick to Kitana. But had so many, like, it, 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 
we saw more belief from Reaper in his play than I feel like Aziz. Like Aziz was second guessing himself in movement and really in pressure an awful lot. But from Reaper, he was when he made that commitment of like instant jump one, always had the conversion. When, when he reversed, he was always swinging and he made it meaningful and impactful in the fight. For Aziz, he was letting him get away with too many down ones, too many, too too many of those staggers where he was just jumping and then losing his turn. Yeah. Uh... You're right. Actually, we have um, Faisal Combat also qualifying to top 8. He beat Mr. Black. Top 8 winners is 7 3 1, actually. I was surprised that Mr. Black uh, won him one game. We don't know what happened, but uh, on the loser side, also, we still have uh, Kariba versus Han Zombies. They haven't played for some reason. But, and also, Hamu versus Sonki. What's happening, guys? And that. You, that did happen. Yeah. Um, I I just updated it. Hamo took it three to two. That that did go to a game number five. Wow. Deck. So many game fives before top eight even starts, which is about to start right now, by the way. Nice from Hamo winning against Sonki three two and against Han Zombies. I'm really impressed with Hamo. He's playing out of his mind in the last uh, couple of weeks. He has improved a lot. He's been streaming uh, constantly and. Uh, and these are your yeah. top four seeds. Um, you know, when we were going over the bracket and talking about these yes, players yes. Um, and, and the seeding, sure enough, one through four, making it through to the winner side of top eight. We're going to have yeah. uh, Wasim versus Reaper and uh, Faisal Combat versus Homo. That's going to be our winner's top eight, baby. But, yeah, Reaper but, versus Wasim. They were not easy. Yeah. Actually, for the record, uh, the last time was seen played against Reaper it was in the ESL, one of the ESL weeklies and uh, it was like one week ago and uh, Reaper actually won against Wasim but it was Liu Kang versus Pujan yeah, usually so Wasim doesn't pick uh, Liu Kang for, uh, for uh, Pujan so he's gonna pick Joker we'll see because I think uh, Reaper finds a difficult time beating uh, Jokers in general and uh, I think he might use uh, Sub Zero versus Wasim since a lot of people started using Sub Zero to try to break out uh, <laughs> Wasim's defense because mm -hmm. I think Wasim has the best defense in the whole Middle East. He's better even than. And than you me. saying that makes makes me afraid of it. Like 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 now I'm yeah. worried. He he's just willing to to just block all the round. You know when I was playing against him with Cetrion. He has no problem blocking for like 90% out of his life bar, you know? Just that that is a trying that, to get that is a um skill set that I feel like 99% of people don't have. Because who wants Including to block? myself? <laughs> 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 I, I don't wanna block bro, is... but when I, I when I have to I do it. <laughs> yeah. But like I cannot play against Satrion like blocking like for like 90 seconds just blocking trying to get in no bro that's not the way to do it but Wasim knows how to how to you know adapt with this particular playstyle and uh, make it work that's why he's special that's why he's sponsored by Nasri Sport and uh, he's proving himself over and over again he is one of those people who tried to play the game for like too many hours to get better and be the best in the region be one of the best players in the world he might also go to CEO, and uh, but he still didn't Ooh. register yet. We will try to register him tomorrow because it, the cap will open for more people to register, yep. and uh, we'll see what will happen. And that's who I'm getting invited out right now. And yeah, this is someone who has been if you weren't playing was always someone that was right there with you in those brackets too you know just from the outside looking in just talking about the overall strength of the middle east scene and how one of my goals with global was of course to show off what everyone was capable of and i'm, I'm only three events in and i can't believe how good the entire world is at, at mortal Kombat, right and i want to see more people travel from the middle east and because i feel like if they did, they would put in such 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 work in those really big tournaments, right? Like Evo, Combo Breaker, all of them. Because I put like the Pacific region, the person that won that, Mr. K, mm. I, I was disgusted by how good he was. I was yeah, actually yeah. disgusted. And that's someone that that's never gotten the opportunity to even come over and compete. That I feel like would beat a lot of people if if given the opportunity. And the same thing could be said for the Middle East. And 
that's that's what we're trying to raise some awareness for is to let let, let people know that Mortal Kombat's not just North, a North American game anymore, baby. This is definitely this is a worldwide thing. There are there are really like hidden talents around the world. We don't know about even uh, an Injustice 2 and MKX, not only in uh, MK11, but they don't have uh, you know support to travel around the world. And since all the tournaments, most of them, they are happening in the U.S., so it's very difficult for us to travel from the Middle East all the way to the U.S. to play in a best of three, and it costs a lot of money. And we don't have legit sponsors here yet, except for very few. And uh, yeah, we're trying to prove ourselves here online by playing online and to get the opportunity to play in the pro competition. But anyways, we have Wasim for top eight playing against Reaper. Who do you guys will think? Um, we'll win. Reaper coming off the sub zero and going to the Fujin here. I'm really surprised that we're seeing went with the uh, Luke. Maybe you want to move up. Maybe he's this. trying to send him a message, Tech the Master, yes, from their yes, exactly. uh, pre previous engagement, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but Man, I believe and 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 Wasim is Luke. Oh, oh, he whiffed the down two. Doing uh, a ball down two against Luke from the beginning of the first round. Showing Wasim that he's not afraid from Liu Kang's mid. You have a 9 frame, 11 frame mid? Nope, we are from the Middle East, we don't have any fear here, we don't do mid. Oh, I was about to say, shouldn't you respect the 14 mid that he's going to be throwing at you in that situation, but not to oh, oh, Yeah, here, we don't get conditioned, bro. Yeah, you duck, I duck, bro. I treat you just like the way you treat me, brother. It was so clean, and... The the execution of the sh movement right now, as well. Is he a pad player? Yes. Wave yes. dashing is not all easy. All of us here, uh, we are pad players. We don't have uh, arcade stick users. We do, you don't have to actually. Ah, oh, I was in wanted to try to clear the gas in between the projectors. Oh, here also he wanted to move, but he got clipped by the amplifier. Okay. Wasim uh, actually he doesn't rely on micro ducking in P11. If, he, if, he, if he's gonna read your retro, he's gonna duck. Commit. But uh, I feel like against Fujin, uh, you need to do that since he has a 13 frames mid. In this game, he can micro duck 13 frames mid and that was off. But 12, 11, 10 is very hard. You can't do that. Mm. So playing against uh, Liu Kang here. Let's forget about micro ducking. So you can weird. micro duck his one two, two but we yeah, did a mid. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. It's one of the faster ones too. That's what that, that, that's what really scares me about trying that one. All right, we were trying to get something going there with the shenanigans. And no, no, just. I think uh, I think Reaper hesitated there. He wanted to press the button, but he didn't. And he wanted, and he got. <laughs> no, to, to death. And what aggression from was seen there to. Like, he made, the moment that, that there was a neutral situation, he was the aggressor, and the, like the Liu Kang special, like the moment that neutral was reset, he did instant dash up one, two, three. It just put out the quickest active frames that he could, and sure enough, Reaper just runs, in, runs into it there for game number one. And dang, he is playing clean. Yes, he is. Yeah, whenever I was in phase in a serious tournament, trust me, he becomes just the devil, man. <laughs> Him and Facer combat both of them. They play better than in casuals. <laughs> Which is really odd and weird. Usually players they play better than casuals, but they are so used to playing online tournaments. In which they feel comfortable now. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're definitely getting that age where, you know, online... I mean, online has its own meta even, Tekken Master, so... It's, it's really crazy to see everyone's gameplay kind of adjust as well over the past couple of years. You know, there's a lot more short hops. It's 1 0 Reaper right now. Okay, uh, so 1 0 for Reaper. And he uh, didn't change to Sub Zero. I think uh, Reaper, I think it would be better for Reaper to pick uh, Sub Zero. Oh, yeah, you can't combo out with this in the next screen. One throw. Reaper didn't want to take throw there. Fireballs. 
Locking him into the corner right now. Reaper's just trying to breathe early. He find his way out of the corner. Still going to one situation here. And did throw the... I mean, that just catches everyone off guard. Everyone assumes that, that, they, that they're going to crouch. You're going to go for like a wind push. Straight to the end naturally. And that's quite a change up to catch people crouching right there. Really good mix up. And he goes out and into the corner just to get thrown back in. And now it could be comeback city. Some things and what a read of the stagger. He reads this one oh, stagger. Yes, yeah, I think I think yeah, it was a read different. It was a read. Because most of the looking fails are the back one. Um, they would stagger it. <laughs> what a weird punish from one Wow, he saw the back one one two one coming and yeah. Reaper can only blame himself for dropping his combo and uh, not chipping out Wasim with a 4-3. He should have done a 4-3 right there. 4-3 he needed, but Wasim taking it back. Yeah, we don't see re any text from Reaper. Sorry about that tech message, just making sure all those matches are good to go on the loser's side. We are moving along. Your brother got a 3-0 victory over VXN, by the way, down there. Just wow. Updated. What? And now he's playing Sonky for top eight. Nice. Hold on a second. I, I don't know which character did he use versus Vix. Anyways, let's hop into this match. Wasim is really focusing hard. Reaper's playing more creative now. He has no ticks from Reaper. That's the way to go. He's playing against. Oh, he wanted to micro duck there. Oh, I couldn't finish this thing. Okay, three break. Three break. Oh, I did break. Oh, expected uh, was him to break at the last second. Oh, I don't. You can punish it with a flying kick, but I don't think was him anticipated that. Yeah, one, one touch from both players. Oh, okay, what he a, couldn't. What a challenge there. right there! Oh no! What are you doing? Those back-to-back -back mistakes is gonna give the life. Okay, in. okay, yeah, oh, that's what it does. Reaper, I don't know what he's doing, man. He's dropping a lot of things, but I really question his pick. Why don't you use uh, Sub, -Zero, Sub Zero since he's the better pick against Wasim? Yeah, Sub Zero is really good. Like in general, too, right? E even for the Cetrion pick, I feel like Sub Zero be the way to go. Mm, yes, Sub Zero does really well against Cetrion, but still, it's five five. Uh, we'll see. Reaper, yeah, even then. <laughs> would he gamble it all on Sub-Zero? Yes. <laughs> Back to the wall here. This is winner's side, so that so, so there is some breathing room, and he is going to stick it out with Fuji. Who was seen? I've been really impressed by the Luke Kang. Just a nice, simple, effective game plan implemented by him. That, it, but that's what we used to see in from him. It's just that that solidness. But yeah. he's been really aggressive here for the more defensive playstyle that we're seeing from the Cetron. He's pretty aggressive here with this Luke Kang, and I'm liking it. It depends on the character he's playing against, actually. <clears throat> like, if he's playing against the zone, he's gonna get in. Just block and get in. Slowly, slowly. But here, he wanted to punish with the flying kick. I was surprised that he didn't punish. And even Reaper couldn't punish the flying kick as well. I don't know what's happening here. Reaper. <laughs> that goes back to game number one where we saw Icefall didn't get punished and a few other things from, yeah, yeah, uh, from Reaper in the previous game as well. Back to full screen. Oh, yeah, media has both projectiles. Well, one of the reasons I don't like to do with Fusion is his back one. So it's very slow and uh, if you jump it, like, you he die. is looking for a really long time. <laughs> yeah. Short yeah. Short Ooh, nice. the, the micro deck! Yeah, this micro deck, guys. If Wasim did a back one, it would catch Reaper. You know? This micro deck is a read on the grab or one two. And he hasn't been conditioned either yet, uh, Tekken Master, because he has been trying these micro ducks and he's getting bodied for them more times than not, but he still has the belief to make the read. And a lot of people, they back off when something doesn't work. They're like, okay, I'm not going to do that. You got to keep testing. It's a constant mind game. It's a constant mix up. Anyways, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is top 8 winner. First round of top 8, um, we have Reaper versus Wasim. Wasim going up to 0. Then we will be having Faisal versus Hamo, two from Lebanon. Yeah, I just was seeing he's going ham on Reaper. He doesn't have bars to wake up with. 
I think Wasim should mash more in this matchup since he doesn't have a fast mid. Ujin. Oh, up close for sure. Yeah, don't want, don't want. Just gotta abuse that. Gets the back throw here. And we'll see him try to pull this out 3 0. Gets sniped by the back two, and that's. That just happens, and you have to accept it. Back two. Oh, and that's a fucking win! Okay, I'm gonna need a fatal block! Why would you win? Ooh, oh, big. I mean, I'm kidding, you know, that's yeah. dead. That's dead. I'm pretty sure that he would have lived if he didn't. Yes. Mm. Why would you break? You know that you cannot break. But they burn you that he is gonna be greedy. Yeah. Gonna okay. The, 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 again, this this is to resonate off of the reads of Microduck as well, but the stubbornness to stick it out with Fujin paying off for him. <laughs> yeah, Reaper, I that's think he's programmed uh, like for it. doing Microduck. Also, all of our matches and losers are playing for top 8 already Tekken Masters, so once we get through these next two matches, we should just go right into losers top 8. It should be beautiful. Mm, nice, Oh yeah, yeah. And losers, we have Aziz versus Hans Zombie. Will be streaming this or what? That one is already happening. And then oh, Magic, happening. Magic Line versus Yasser, but I think Magic's not here. Um, and Sonki versus mm -hmm. Tekken Legend. Yeah, Sonki Legend, they are paying. Sonki and Tekken Legend. Are they paying or what? They are. They are playing right now. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, yeah, I really want to see Aziz versus Hans Zombie, but and. Uh, that, that means that Yasser is actually going to get into top 8 on the loser's side because Magic Lion's not here. Yasser got a 3-1 victory over Majin Pak and Sem Semrenov. Um, and is going to get the DQ straight in the loser's top 8. So congratulations to Yasser. Round one. Make it top yeah, 8. Yeah, Yasser. Yeah, Yasser. He is a good player as well. But we'll see what will happen if we now have Anyways. I think Rain yeah. was the character that he selected on Smash, but we'll see. Oh. Yeah. Fingers crossed for some Rain action on you, right guys? Yeah, yeah. anyways, we'll see him sticking with Liu Kang. He didn't want to change the Joker. He's believing in his Liu uh, Kang. He can't do it with Liu Kang. And uh, Reaper needs to take this uh, again to stay alive in the other side. Uh, oh man. You see again fire. Okay, he didn't have bars too. Unfortunately, no, he got got awfully quick by the project out there, full screen, trying try to get away. Yeah. What seems just just owning him right now. Oh, okay, this is ridiculous. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is just cat and mouse. Does fans? Wasim didn't know that he would be checking into a tournament today just to work at nine to five, chasing someone across the screen. Pressure's on though. Yeah, one of uh, Wofujin's biggest weaknesses is jumping. If you jump against the character. He's gonna whiff the 4-3, whiff the back 2, whiff the back 1. That's why you see, you're gonna see a lot of people jumping against him. Which was him already did, and he threw a neutral jump against him. But he couldn't come in for the Now, it's going down to the wire, uh, the Skywalker. Oh, that wasn't the punish, actually, it was a counter. Oh, he just did and did he, uh, he just reacted to the forward movement. That was, I feel like that was just godlike reactions right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re Don't just do his reaction, bro. Dashing in front of his three face. Trying to scare him for some reason. He got left by the back one. Oh, uh, oh, what's happening? I think uh, Reaper needs to stop using the Skywalker because he's wasting a lot of his resources. Getting a lot of meter, and then look at that. By the, by the time. So you cannot break, yeah. The team's on the hunt now, you're at zero resources. Okay. okay. Thankfully, Luking doesn't rely on airborne juggling uh, combos. You can only do it on the ground. And he still has a lot of options there to, to like load the bicycle kick, crushing blow, etc. Yeah, yeah, one, two, three. You need to break away after. Since he's using a lot of resources. Oh my Ooh, god! That oh, that almost worked! It's yeah, almost. Was lucky. Oh my god! Oh my he's, god! He's dead. Oh, oh my goodness. Send him to the depths of hell with that oh. dragon. Oh, but maybe, yeah, maybe. Oh, oh maybe. Oh, oh, it's in! Oh my goodness! I didn't. Did he What? You absolute what? mad lad. Was was... He? Was he? Let me Not find out. Like Let me find out, Tekken Master, that the international community is more savage than the American community. I thought we were the worst. Uh, Hold on a second. Uh, he gave Reaper a second life, and this might cost him. Yeah, now you have to focus more and waste your energy. Yeah. You could have saved with them for the next round. You could have been. Not likely play against a more Tracer. 
and you would have been guaranteed in the money with, with that victory there. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I always think about whenever I go to tournament. But anyways, oh wow, what I was punished, KB, GG's! Maybe he just wants to style okay, on us a yeah, little, yeah. just a little bit more Tekken Master. He just wants to show off here and send a message to the bracket that he's here to win. Uh, he gave him another chance. If he can mercy again, he will mercy him too. <laughs> but he cannot mercy him more than once. <laughs> he could again. <laughs> yeah, he will do it, I'm sure. But, yeah. Thank God he only did it. Hey! He only mercy one time. And, and you know, because because he couldn't mercy again, he went for the friendship naturally. So, GG's. We'll see. Friendship. I bet we'll see. For the winner's finals. Don't be salty for your loss. Just be happy. You have still your losers run. Uh, oh, already Reaper is guaranteed to face even if he lost. So let's, let's see now. Who's next? Uh, we should Mitch. have Hamo versus Face of Combo. That we do coming up next. It's, it's in the winner's side of the top eight. You guys can use exclamation point bracket to follow along through our Middle East global event here. We'll see him advancing to the winner's finals. Amo versus Faisal. Coming up next, we got Gasser and Mr. Black in the loser side of top eight. Their opponents have not been set as we're still waiting on the outcomes of Aziz versus Hunt and Sonki yeah. versus Tekken Legend. And our match arena right now is up to 30 bucks. If you guys can, Make this prize pool a little bit bigger for these guys competing here today. I'm going to put yes, it in. support them. They deserve, uh, they deserve it, actually. They are giving a good show. And uh, these guys, do your best. We got Abyss in the chat. Talk, just saying stop being so good. You know, you know team, team MCG Abyss, top three from Pacific was also MCG. They're kind of killing it in the international team. And uh, going to be representing, can be represented by... Um, both Faisal and Homo? Are they, are they both MCG? Both yes. Yes. Uh, they are both MCG. Actually, Faisal just uh, joined them recently. Uh, the leader of MCG is uh, Feud Punk, like a ball player. And uh, yeah, he like he wanted to let Faisal combat Homo and a couple of other, Reaper as well join MCG. And yeah. They are making MCG proud, three of the team mates, they are already in top 8. We'll see now, Hamu versus Faisal. We will most likely out, right? see Jade versus Satrion. <laughs> oh man, don't, <laughs> don't, do, don't say it so. Yeah, Jade versus Satrion, yeah. Hamu played this match a lot, a lot, a lot. He has a lot of experience in this, even Faisal as well. Because I think uh, after the latest patch, Jade is the best pick against Cyprian now. Yeah. Yes. Jade first, then I would say Cabal. Cabal is really good. If there's one person that I listen to about matchups, guys, it's usually Tekken. <laughs> yeah. These are my two picks for Cyprian. I, I sometimes use uh, Gearus as well, Gearus, but offline, online it's, it's harder with Gearus. Wait, it might actually be better with Gearus since I can mix them up with the 1-1. One -one. There you <laughs> go. Online boys! That's right, that's right. Dude, let me tell you, how crazy is it seeing people do a lot more short hops because we are playing online? And, le and, and let me tell you, you know, I went to Dragon Temple and we play and I couldn't short hop anyway. Because it was Actually, offline. Actually, yeah, it's, it's not a good uh, tool to use in offline because mm -hmm. you can react. Exactly. I offline. don't use it even online. I don't like uh, to, to get used to it, you know, because mm -hmm. when I go to tournaments and short hub and then punish me, and then I get myself. <laughs> but there, there are some characters that have a, a fast a short hub, like Eras, you know, his knee. It's, it's really good. Like, yeah. It, it hits. So. Is his Kotals and Shao Kahn's are all like yeah, yeah, Kota Kahn 9, 10, 10 frame, 11 frame. Like, those are really good ones. 
Shao Kahn's is ridiculous, by the way. Shao Kahn's is good offline. That, that, I think it's one of the fastest short-off kicks in the game. Might be the fastest. Yeah. I forgot what I was just doing. Oh, yeah, I'm inviting... <laughs> Basil, I sent you one invite. Let me know if that one worked. He's in the chat right now. Get that invite, buddy. Oh, there he is. Let's go! Let's do it. Okay, so... I'll and they're both the from story. Lebanon. Yeah. Oh, uh, go, go, yeah. go for it. Yeah. So before customs, uh, actually Hamoud did struggle with the Cipriyan because he didn't have the, the tornado and the ground pound and, you know. Uh, Jade wasn't so different from before customs and now, well, except for the Delia dance, of course. Made him a better character, yeah. but when, when we are talking about Setian versus Jade oh, before, uh, most of the players faces Hamu in this matchup. Hamu comes on top, but after customs, Hamu was struggling in this matchup. He, even he was telling this to me. And uh, every time I fight Hamu, I pick Setian for him because I know that she does well versus Jade. But some people say that she doesn't. But uh, I believe that if you play in a, in a particular way against Jade, you can, you can beat her, but it's not easy now. Uh, especially, if she has now 950 health and this is a gem on her tornado. But, anyways, oh wow, Ooh. what a conversion! Okay, so, uh, I wasn't sure he had the range right there. Yes, yes. Uh, you need to wave dash in order for it to convert. I'll put the screen down that port. He's gonna back the dash, he's gonna back the dash yep. because he doesn't have the low projectile with Jay. You need the low projectile against the Jay on this matchup. It's better that than- That was ridiculous! Oh my goodness! The wave dash backward and read a reaction to the jump. That was disgusting. I'm gonna throw up all of them! That was pretty cool. Yeah. Look up me off guard, sorry. I see a pretty good one. Right. Fine. Summer cool. Yeah. There is no longer now, we can just back that to Sergio. Oh. Yeah. Let her whip right Actually, there. Actually, Hammo is using the pull bolt rather than the low fire bolt. He prepares it. But what will you do if you just back that against this? What will you do with this? Nothing. You cannot reach Sergio. Yeah, nice. so it, it, it looks like he, he prefers that kind of safe way in and then. Right, right in Cetron's face. Yes, yeah. Because then you do the fireball and she teleports. Oh. The low fireball has tons of recovery, you don't want to do it. And face, face leaving there, spacing out the uh, pole bolt perfectly, getting the whip punish, that's going yeah. to keep Homo second guessing for sure on how he's going to get in and just abusing that back dash away. Look at, look at Mama Nature just getting out of dodge. Okay, I have faced something interesting to say, on wake up, which is a very common thing to use. Uh, we see a lot of people jumping and wake up, but now I think we are only one hit away. Yeah, uh, I'm almost too scared from throwing a fatal random. random Ooh. Okay, this is really your chance, Hamo. He, he doesn't have guaranteed chip damage, boys. Yes. Oh. That could have been huge um, multiple times for uh, Faisal. He actually, I, I'm gonna give some props to Faisal for breaking away before the second uh, dagger as well. So he didn't get the guaranteed kick damage. That that yes. saved him, unfortunately. Yep. Right, right now, the chip damage. Okay, nice little jump. Oh, he could have added very sad for Hamu. He could have converted. Faisal with the pressure, the wall, yeah. I realized that uh, Hamu does the pole vault a lot after uh, Sidion's. Uh, Tornado push because you have to use down four after tornado push because Jade uh, cannot reach Cetrion. Big read! No! Cetrion dances underneath a mo right there and then resets neutral and that had to be mentally destructive for a mo to see that happen. You finally have her within your grips. She just gets, she just runs away full screen, no problem. Reset the neutral and the aggressive read from face of this time around rather than back off. Keeps mixing it up with the depression, with the defensive Ooh. play, and holy crap. Yes, and more but what a smart choice by Faisal, uh, going for the wall to absorb all the jade projectiles, the air projectiles. I 
got an update for you off stream as well. A battle between Aziz and Hunt. Hunt takes it 3 0. Aziz, what's happening here, Aziz? This is not yourself. I expected more from you, to be honest, but our black uh, hand zombies is really tough to beat and Reaper as well. But I think Aziz competitively just pays for fun, right? Yeah. Souls never lost. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is his personality, you know? Hey, you know, sometimes. Sometimes it'd be like that, you know. I'm, I'm kind of the same. Where I, I Tech Master, you can probably feel this pain. Can I tell you that I have lost probably, I don't know, a hundred tournament sets by now, trying to kill someone with God Ray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the, 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 yeah, you mean the down forward four, right? Uh, oh, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the uh, sun. With, no, so with both in MKX and, and MK11, I try to I try to kill people with yeah, that. Yeah, but in MKX so it was way better, better, man. It was oh, it was. way way better. Yeah, it was uh, this recovery here. The recovery is just infinite, you know. And there is a crushing blow. So if you do it, they will crush blow you, and then because of the animation, it goes away and yeah. Or fatal blow. Try doing that against Gears, and then he just like half screen sucks you in, and you just die. But yeah. Oh, 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 I know the pain. Yeah. Anyway, but, so I'm believing in his. And this is someone yeah, that, that's, that's someone that just has great knowledge of the matchup. A lot of people wait until Cetrion, or sorry, until Jade. I mean, you say the same thing with Cetrion and Hell's Wrath, but they wait for them to land. And there is ain't no punishing you. Aerial projectiles on the ground. You have to go for the anti-air conversions, like you saw there. The same one going into the mine, but Hamo is slowly coming to life here in this matchup. He's he's standing his ground here up close. And, Getting a little more aggressive on the reversals, I think, and even there with the run, Nitro Kick. Doesn't want Faisal to breathe. Maybe Hunter could uh, throw some overheads here and there. He was whipping a lot of them in the very first game, but again, the keyword they're being whipped, he, he just wasn't in range to establish the mix-up. He was trying to snipe him with it more likely. What? Why did you jump there? I think this can guarantee 4 2 after the Delia Dance of the fight. 4 2 is guaranteed, you have to block it with this. But he neutral jumped okay. nevertheless. And because Faisal did it 1 1, that's why. Okay, he got that perfect. Homo pressing right now. He's gonna throw. I guess. Whoa! It's multiple times though. Yeah, yeah, multiple times. Yeah, it happened before. He could have, and probably should have lost that one a couple of times in a row. But again, the neutral jump into the one-two has has not worked out for him. You should neutral jump one into back three. Why would you do standing one? Maybe back three. This is your character. You've been playing here since the the better days. Confirm. More damage. If it if it doesn't work, you have, you have a mind game on block. Yeah. That's a that's a win win win. Um, I don't know if if Kessler will pick another character for Jade. I think his only choice against Jade is either Mirror or or just using Cetrion. And uh, Cetrion. he believes in Cetrion always, always, even if it's too old. He changes characters only if, if he doesn't play in a series. Like ESL. <laughs> <laughs> but even an easy not in our finals, he uses that. Yeah. But not again. <laughs> this, this, has been a, this has been a fun matchup to watch so far. It's it's usually a very slow paced match, but Hamo is playing it really aggressively and Faisal at times as well. This has actually been one of the few times I can say that I've enjoyed Jade versus Cetrion. Yeah. Going, going back to season one of. Fi of um, Oh my goodness, I forgot what the Pro Tour is called. The Pro Competition. Ooh, it's, been a, it's been a long one, Tekken. Don't judge me, don't judge me. Yeah, I had a long night. Um, but... <laughs> Listen, <YouTube. laughs> I just got blown out of my pursuit. Can the stream hear you, by the way, Rick? Okay, I'll get you. They got lucky this time around. But <laughs> this matchup back in Season 1 Tekken Master was the driest piece of toast I've ever seen in my life. But now, <laughs> it, now it's a little more exciting. 
actually, how much going with the override to the pole vault? Making uh, good use of the pole vault, making the override safe. Ooh. Oh, oh. oh, it hit him. Jeez, dude, no. these hell's rats are just yeah, miracle think, yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. Hammo needs one touch. Hammo! Oh, you have to go again. No. That's why I need the level of care for situations like this. Oh! Oh no! Oh, what is about to? Oh, I think he did back two. But sending two came out. Oh, I think he really did back yeah, two. Yeah, you're I'm right. I'm sure he did back two. Yes, he did back two. It, ha it happens with me. What it was mm. it. I, I try to do sometimes back two, then it two comes out. Because I didn't uh, press the back uh, long enough. Especially from, uh, from, 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 really, especially really, coming really from a crowd. Yeah, he did. He did to win this round, bro. Trust me. You want to win any round against FaZe or something. Yeah, he will convert off that. I would have cried on the inside if he did. Ooh, trying to disrespect here is Faisal. Yeah, yeah. Got some more hit advantage yeah. to deal with. This is the yeah, chunk of pressure. It's, it's just... Again! Again? I, he again. is... He's one for four on that. Yes, again! Where... where the, oh. but, but the thing is that he's four for four on the neutral jump working. He... Look, he's four for four on the read working. But the fo but th one for four on the on an actually working because or th the follow up working because yeah. he's just not doing the long enough thing. See, now it could, it could have been uh, a move here, but now Faisal is, is gonna try to push things up. Yeah, oh. this game is very important in this matchup as well because uh, you don't want to control the nerves of your opponent. You know? mm -hmm. If you lose two one, then the, the next game is gonna do more, do more risks and you wanna deal with it. You, you no, there. No. That oh, was the read from Faisal. Yeah. Here we go. Just needs to back there. Get rid of the oh, What the hell? Why would you front uh, No. Okay. Fight was too quick. This is crazy. I'm scared. Yeah. Yeah. That's a ball. I would. I would. Why? Do, why doesn't uh, Faisal? Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, gap is closed. Okay. That's a mix up. Oh. Okay, he's taking advantage out of his spear. No yep. KB. Okay. As I'm afraid. Oh, Amo. Amo. I didn't send him off the three. No. Oh, no. That was exactly oh, how. <laughs> oh, no. Amo. That's exactly how game one ended but right what there. A, what a read from Faisal. He did the. Uh, Again? Just the wall amplify just to, to make things work better for him. Safety, you know, just. Whenever in doubt, just wall amplify. Always. 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 But that's anti, back to back. Anti ground, anti, anti <laughs> sky, anti, anti space. <laughs> it's anti MK11. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, this wall amplify. Yeah, the pushback, I'm, I'm really questioning why why there is a pushback on, on the amplifier city on amplify wall. There shouldn't be a pushback on on, on block. This is really cheap. <laughs> Anyways, Faisal, like I said, really it needed to win this game because the mindset of this game right now would be way better for Faisal. He's gonna play way, way more comfortable. But Hamu will play with fear and uh, he's not gonna do more risks. And if he don't do more risk, then Faisal will take advantage. He will feel more comfortable. And uh, but this is Hamu. All this online experience. I got, a, I got a final update for you as well, Tekken Master. Tekken Legend falls to Sonki 3 1 for top 8. So Sonki is going to be our final Sonky. top 8 is on the night. Tekken Legend Sonky close. He has, hasn't been playing much actually recently. But Kano's playing one hell of a game right now. <laughs> yeah, but he, he is uh, Sonki, you know. You have to give him a shout out because uh, he plays. Kano since day one when the fourth one was. Oh yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Oh yeah. When he when he wasn't playing again. <laughs> playing the game. <laughs> yeah. He never tried uh, using other characters right I I what's crazy is that even still this late in the set, every single jump in from Hamo that was poor Yes, yes, Every single jump in has gone into one two, and that's just a gorgeous hit confirmed by Faisal. This is gonna get to the match point. Cetrion's gonna send every single element she can in the one beam. 
GG's match point now for Faisal. What do we see that I'm back? Was Steam versus Faisal combat, but like I said, there's not count. Well, this is not more with this Jade. Okay, punish! Nice. What a aggressive read again from Faisal. That is not an easy thing to do right there, guys. To actually get a jump one read on anything that's a jump back air projectile, whether it be Jade, Sentry, Home Cabal, Sub Zero, Ice Axe, anything. To get it, to get there before their checkout comes out, not easy to do. And then he took a little bit of momentum away from Homo here, whose back is to the wall. And these hand dyers have been absolutely yeah, 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 yeah. stupid. Yeah. He's talking to download this. Well, why would you every time you go jump three again? Yeah, Amo is, is reading the... Uh, okay, I respect that. Waste what you can waste before going down. So we don't regular things. Now, uh, two touches. Uh, it's going really... It's gonna be really difficult. At least Faisal doesn't have the skater draw so he can move. Uh, but uh, But one trip up could uh, make things more. Yeah, Amo is way too afraid. Ooh! Yeah, I, yeah now I'm good. You have read? Amo! Okay, and that's gonna be guaranteed! Okay, okay. nice! Yes, uh, yes, I was impatient there. Jumping, I think he should have teleported just far away from the corner. But he's in my way. Uh, again, okay, now it's okay, okay. Because it was close. Again, he did the same mistake, but. I was scared though. But 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 even 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 there, he can do more damage in any other way. Okay, <laughs> oh! 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 Really good, man. Like I said, I put down more. He knows how to control this man. Oh. The toughest break, break away. Let's the tornado, okay? Just a misspaced oh, by a okay, ball. Okay, okay, he did it. Hey, oh, no! Amo. really button pressing what? here and tries to point away. What? He did it in the front of his face? Oh, okay, face up. Face up, I want to get it. Uh, I think you want a back three right what? there. What? Oh. That was uh, tremendous. Yeah, mm. yeah. He, played, he played really well. Both of them like, played, played really well. He's talking to chat yeah, right now. Couple of input errors right there, Homo. But yeah. man, oh man, yeah. he make that come. Yeah, okay, the back two, the back two, the input error, the back two. When when, when he was the health, health trap. Oh, the Tekken Master exploded. No, what yeah. happened over there? It's rage mode now. So it's rage mode. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. Can we just get like a Hollywood picture of oh oh yeah. whoa! I don't know how he did it. That was godlike. Like, uh, I'm about to hire. I'm about to hire him to produce this thing. Oh <laughs> shots! Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's, that's one of our new <laughs> buttons. <laughs> yeah. Production is is really good. Shout out if, to. Oh, this you. huge, uh, lovely production of Aquaman and the production team as well. Yeah, it's okay. You know. Where's our Macharino at, by the way? Speaking of, speaking of some production, it just comes from the ground. You guys see that from below? Prize pool update, $56 on the line already. You guys can donate to the prize pool as well. With exclamation point, Macharino. You get at 50 cents the prize pool for free as well with code Kahlo3. That was the winner's side of top eight, guys. We'll see you in Faisal getting through that that's gonna be our winners finals but we got a lot of losers to get through and let's just get right into it. it's gonna be yasser versus hunt and mr black versus sonky and we also got a bracket for you guys to look at it look at as well let's take a look yeah so yeah on the winner's side yeah so wasim has already beaten reaper and face up beat Amo. but now on the losers uh we'll be doing also yasser versus hunt, hunt zombies hunt x Kuwait, he's from Kuwait, and also Mr. Black, the surprise of the tournament. It's current player going against some key opponent. So Reaper still has a chance on the loser side, and uh, as well as Amo. So this is going to be an interesting bracket. Looking forward for it, especially Wasim versus Fezer on the winners final. Let's do it. Here's either Tekken Master up to 56 bucks. Yes. That's just going to grow throughout this broadcast. Thank you so much. Lady Elmo with a $26 donation. Christina Cage with a $3 donation. 
Yeah, thank you guys. Mr. Well, Aquaman with a $20 thing. donation? Just because I fucked up earlier? <laughs> yeah, thank you. And I'm gonna get that next match out for us here, Tekken Master. Yasser versus Pun. Yasser is one that I don't have a lot of, um... I haven't seen him play a lot, so this is gonna be a really big surprise for me. Yasser, yeah. He's really good with Joker. But, uh, like, uh, you told me that he plays Rain, or what? He, he had Rain selected on Smash, but... People lie to us a lot on that, so... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're trying to hide the their things, so. characters or whatever. I'm, I'm hoping but for it. here we have information for every player. Don't worry. Yes, sir, representing Iraq as well. A lot of different nations represent here today. We've got Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Lebanon. We're going to have Iraq here. Incredible. Yeah. So, I guess next we'll be having Hanzombies with the Asset. And Zombies, uh, I don't think he's been doing really well against Joker. Especially when I was seeing him going against uh, Wasim. Joker. It was Joker versus uh, I don't know how I feel about this matchup. But it's, a bit, it's debatable. This, is it Joker versus Kotal? It should be, yes. Should be? Should be? I kind of don't hate it as Kotal Khan. Um, but yeah, I've also you can't. played Sonic with Joker, so <laughs> yeah, Sonic. <laughs> I don't think uh, Kotakan works against uh, Sonic because he doesn't have a first match. You need a yeah. first match against the Sonic I think in general. But when it comes to the no like normals versus normals, like when you're at Kotakan's forward one range, um, I feel like it's it's definitely fightable. Like post post Joker blocking. Amplified disc on block, I feel like is, is a really good spot for Kotal, but outside yes, of yes, that... Yes, yes, yes. You need AX disc mm -hmm. very much in this matchup. Uh, and the cat, I don't know if you need it. Yeah. Okay. But in this game, in the new meta, Kotal Khan, you need a command grab with them, so they don't micro duck. Do you equip it with the Kotal Khan? Get a command. I actually have been using, lately, my, my variation in... Um, totem, Jaguar, Command Grab, and then if the matchup requires a disc. But I am yeah. back on the Totem, Tekken. I'm, I'm back on it. I just want to do damage. I just want to yeah, kill someone in 2 -0. Yeah, when they opened customs, uh, I used to pick EX Disc, Command Throw, and the, the, the launcher in the top 4 2, the launcher. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is where I felt comfortable most with. But was a pretty good spot here. here. Kind of post ultimate in customs. Kotal actually does have like. Yeah, he, he oh. has like uh, six different, seven different yeah. costumes. Like, and like you can, can even the, the air EX cat, you know, it's good mm -hmm. versus owners. Yep. And you can have like four, four or five different loadouts of Kotal and cover quite quite a few matchups, you know. It's, it's yeah. a truly cool thing to see. Yasser also has Rain on his in game character profile card. So I, if he doesn't play Rain, I'm banned. Oh. I'm going to DQ yeah. him if he, uh. if, if, uh, yeah. yeah, he needs to pick Rain. <laughs> yeah, maybe he switched from Joker to Rain. Because I think, yeah, Joker uh, got nerfed. Uh, basically, he got nerfed that you can use his little blow faster now. <laughs> 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 Which you don't want against him. Huh? But uh, I think this is the nerf, yes. Uh, for people who, who say that Joker got, got better because he has an i that's oh. not true. That's not true. Alright, it's not true. Hunt's, Hunt's, Hunt's tag threw me off. Hunt, do you realize that there's someone else with your name that has one underscore and that... Oh, that, it, it, that's brutal. <laughs> his is, yeah, so his, his, his name is, is Hunt underscore something. This Q8, this is Quit. Yeah, but there's someone else that has it with only one underscore with the same exact yeah. ending. I wonder if that's a previous one of it is. What a mind game. Hunt, that invite is out now, by the way. Thank you. This is our first losers match on stream, which means that someone is getting eliminated. Someone's going to remain sitting at their house, not competing in Mortal Kombat 11 after this one. But still, making top eight, getting on stream, showing us what okay, you guys so, are all about. Yeah, so Hans Dom is saying it, it should be double underscore. Hunt X double underscore Q8. I tried to invite Hunt regular underscore Q8. No, it's, it's double and, underscore. Yeah. 
the fact that that account exists threw me <laughs> off. I was like, okay, uh, come on. It's complicated. Just a little bit, just a little bit. But he is no, on the sure. way. So let's go. Let me get the uh, okay. flags down. Because this is... Yeah. This is going to be Iraq versus Kuwait. Yeah, for those of you who, who didn't know, and uh, early lost from Hamon, 3-2, it was an intense set, was Sindel versus Kodakan, and yeah, he went to losers from Hamon. Hamon, now, he has been doing really well. He eliminated the... Uh, uh, let me see. Uh, and zombies, as well as... Uh, donkey, both 3 mm -hmm. And he gave us a really good show against Face of Combat, but unfortunately he's in losers now. But you're in losers, you are not out from the tournament. Here we go. He's gonna fight the winner from this set, Yasa vs. Zombies. So we could see another run back from Hamu vs. Zombies. But I'm sure that Zombies is gonna want his revenge. So. We're good to go. Yasser from Iraq versus the one and only Hunt Zombies from Kuwait. Okay. Here we go. So we have Kotikan versus Rain, yes. Rain. What did he equip? The I do boost. This is this is this is my favorite match of all time. I'm not even joking. These, these, these are my two favorite characters of Mo in Mortal Kombat history. Go yeah, 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 I, I, I realized you, you play Rain as well. I'm, I am loving this right now. Hunt starting off with a forward one, forward one and forward three just traded right there, Tekken Match. That's a bit of a surprise, but I think that they are both nine frame startup. Yeah, um, you also starting with the standing one three stacker. And then uh, Hunt always wanted to first break the last, the, the, the last hit of the strength. But he wants to start up, yeah. And that projectile, the range so fast, so little recovery, it's gonna be problematic for Cole when he's outside of that forward two range. Other than that, we're gonna see if he can bully him up close here. He's already working to the corner. Look, look at the space right there. And back in the corner we go. Num 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 num. And look, 424 <laughs> Jaguar is a quarter of your life. And he didn't have totem up. So he has the token and the command grab as well as his favorite ticket. Oh, this is actually like this yeah. is my current loadout with Cold Life. He's oh. dead! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That right there is why what we had a was the reaction. It, 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 it looks like he reacted to the god range. And this is why you don't do god range really at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do it. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly it. I think he it. forgot about it. I think he forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he, he wanted to cut him. Be awesome, man. He's going out his mind already. Or he's a Kotal Kahn player and just wants to kill someone with the sun. I mean, I've been there too. Trust me. <laughs> Sometimes we're like, I don't care if I die, I'm gonna get this god right. There, there is a custom with Kotal Kahn where you can place your sun ray, which is the worst. <laughs> You can't face it on your yeah. ah, We have Optimum here from that... Yasser. Wow, Yasser, oh, you're impressing me. Hold on a second. What are you doing? Who oh, are you? Can we clip that? Is that a I've never seen that combo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I told you. That's why I don't pick all the Khan. They mash all the time. If you do like minus three strength, minus yep. four, minus five, yeah. mash, 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 exactly. mash all the time. Because they yeah. can. Because, like, what are we gonna do? Poke again? Cool. Yeah, I have to poke down. We're gonna try to jail, right? Then we're gonna try to jail, and then they flawless block. Jump. Cool. Or they jump. Or jump. They jump. Oh my god. And then guess what? If they jump forward one, two, it just drops, and you get punished. Man, I can downplay Cole. From having the best meds in the game to the worst meds in the game. Imagine this. Transition from MKX to MK11. This well, is what led me to leave, to just leave the character. Listen, I this can't. Was, can't. The anti codal mid crusade started with the last patch. Of MKX. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Since then, for some just... reason, 
For some reason, NetherRealm just had Kotal Khan up on a wall in NetherRealm Studios, and they're like, guys, his mids are, are, are fucking stupid. We need to shut this down. And shut his totems as well. And make it uh, two seconds and it goes away. <laughs> the, the, the defensive totem. Hold on a second. Oh, we might, my God. We might have... Yasser might be on Wi-Fi. I might have to double-check this real quick. Oh, already? Okay, yes, he's on Wi-Fi, and the ping is high. No Wi-Fi here, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on a second. Yeah. Call. The hourglass. Um, yeah. yeah, for now. Uh, yeah. I think he uh, also... Uh, he doesn't have any solution other than using a Wi-Fi. But it's it's because he's from Iraq. Usually, the even if he's using a cable, the connection with them is not stable. It's not very good with Iraq. Yeah, so. actually. Yeah. yeah, let it rock. Go back in. Go. Yeah. Go back in. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna ask. Uh, if our pan zombies are good with it. Yeah. <laughs> Just try to take advantage, on... you know, it's 240 oh, ping for oh, you oh, and... Uh, never mind, he's uh, not chill. Okay. He's not chill. Okay, okay. Let me ask, let me ask. If he's not on Wi-Fi... I'm gonna let it rock, but... I'm just asking. He wanted to ask because... He, he's, because he's on Wi-Fi. He... He's on Wi-Fi. He is? Yes. Ooh. I think he's on Wi-Fi. Oh, not Wi-Fi? Mm. Mm. Uh, Yasa, can, can you answer us? If you're in the chat, uh, are you using your Wi-Fi? Because, oh, you know, Wi-Fi is not allowed then. And, uh, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's already a high ping. And, uh, anyways, uh, we'll get back to you guys, but for now, they will fix it. He's on cable, As, the, the, the ping is just really high. Okay, okay. Just carry on, guys. Uh, the, the, yeah. the rules is, uh, just not Wi-Fi and no spikes. If it's laggy, this is as pure like pro competition yeah. rules or whatever. Mm -hmm. If it's laggy, okay, you can play it as long as it's not spikes or Wi-Fi. Uh, I, I was I playing against uh, players from Israel and they, they all were like 220, 230. I didn't have any problem because it's laggy for me and for them as well. So try to take advantage instead of just complaining, yep. you know. I'm just making sure that that I'm good with it. I'm waiting on a confirmation right now that yes. he he asked me if it was Wi-Fi. I just want to double check. Because yeah. I know how I know how these things can be. Yeah, because <laughs> because to be honest with you, the movement, uh, Rain's movement on on, on a pick like this, it's it's really hard to see, bro. <laughs> Trust me. That's why uh, maybe we were wondering why Hanzamas were weren't taking throws against Rain. Maybe because he, he wasn't seeing him. Yeah, just we're basically playing against the flash now. Oh, it's, it's saying it's yeah, and, and it's and it's spiking, all right. Yeah, sir. Can can you is is it spiking from your side as well? If you're in the chat, can you the de devil confirm this? If it's laggy and it's not spiking, yeah. yeah. And and just so you guys know, if you guys haven't read the actual rule set, um. It, the connection's really, really high. I am a, I am a savage. It is not spiking from my side. It's not like yeah, from same, my here. Side. same here. But, so that is on. It's just a bad connection between these two. I think it didn't spike once. I think that for for Hunt, all he can do is play it out. Unfortunately. Because the, the rest of the bracket ran smoothly with him, so. Yeah. Yeah, so. Just, just this one so far. Yeah, let's see the bracket again. We have. Uh, after this, we have the third black, Carl Berg against Donkey, and uh, on the winner side, set and done. No IC versus Spacer Combat. Uh, until we fix this, here's the bracket. Like I said, Spacer already qualified against Hanmo, and the OSIM one. It should be good, guys. 
yeah, winners finals is set. It's gonna be Wasim versus Faisal. I'm just I'm just talking to these guys right now. Yeah, yeah. Everything should be fine, but you know sometimes you guys on my tournaments, we have issues uh, joining and uh, all of that. But all right, so Hunt is just gonna play it out. We're good. We're just gonna play it out. We should we should be jumping into what is going to be game two between Hunt and Yasser. Th thank you, Hunt and Yasser, for that. By the way, I just want to double check, triple check, make sure that that there's no Wi-Fi. And from there, we're just gonna pray that the connection gods are with us. Um, just for these two, because it seems like it's just their connection. I mean, we're going from what Iraq to Ooh, right what? now. What? What am I seeing? Whoa. Is this Kabon? Yes, Kabon! Uh, like I told you, it's like you take advantage. If you pick Kabon, it's gonna jump kick all, all the way to, to victory. Well, Lane is one of the best players, uh, characters dealing with Kabon as he has his jump back one. Here is a pawn. So it's really useful against Who Ball. Okay, and one starts. Uh, okay, ah, I couldn't punish because uh, he ducked. He went down. No, he can jump. Ah, nice. Okay. What? Okay, okay, okay. Here it is uh, that he's gonna duck. Because usually we do 1 1 1 and do backwards 1 and 2 5. And it's a high. Okay, he's back. Ooh. Oh, he wanted the first block right there, but... Yeah. Know. First one takes away the gap with that. First combo from one zombies. Oh! Yeah, he wanted to do <gasps> Instant air dash. Did you see that? It, yeah. Like, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was active, like, behind <laughs> him. Okay, what do you have to do? Okay, did you, did you can, I don't need to use the physical. Jump kick into jump kick to keep him in the corner. What are you gonna do now with the aim? Mm. still have the interactable. Okay, you can use it. Okay. Even here, I think he, he wants to close good, but he's not timing this first block in time. Ah, okay, okay, because he asked the first block his power to do. And then zombies close in here. He did the. Uh, no, my dad. Jump kick, jump kick, there. jump kick, jump kick. Oh yeah, here we go, jump baby. Kick. Yes. Because, you know, uh, us in Kabbal players, we do this. Oh! oh okay. okay. It doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, you can see it for the next round. And that, that tidal wave in the corner, Tekken Master, is scary. Plus 10 on hit actually jails into the stand one. Yeah. Yeah. Although Rain's uh, back two has no rain, but mm -hmm. it push back to your opponent if you do it. Okay, he dashed oh, and uh, yeah, yeah, he, he shimmed him. Yes, and he guaranteed uh, sending two, three. Woo. One, one, guys. Yes, take advantage. Use Cabal. Okay. One, one. One, one here. Pretty, pretty slick again, given, given the connection to just go, you know what? Actor frames. <laughs> I big actor frames everywhere that lead to a lot of damage but for both guys there was a couple of execution errors you know at, after the first one we saw the weird short hop from from hunt and yasser there um in the corner just dropping a little bit of damage other than that this has been fun to watch this is a pretty fun matchup the fact that geyser palm exists makes cabal. makes cabal's jumping that cabal yeah, yeah. jumping mind game yeah, really i think yasser should use this uh more yeah, preemptively too, just just assume yes. he's gonna jump at a certain range. On a read, yeah, on a read. Because um, it's, it's hard for Cabal to punish it, because he doesn't have uh, a really good advancing meds uh, until unless like you use your nomad dash. To see. Okay, so no change from Yasser. Pick the same character, same custom variation. Okay. Oh, oh! Did they hear us or what? Did they oh, hear us no. or what? Tekken, I feel like we cursed them. Oh, I think they hear, heard us. I think they heard oh, us. For sure. Oh, this that's... doesn't... Bro, this doesn't... Oh, what the heck? You do an arrow on like this? Are you doing? So we're commentators, guys. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. Again. Okay. Okay. He wanted to get the skip hit, but... 
Ghost is being spawned from the beginning. Oh, oh! Okay, he didn't do the gun back to straight away. Jesus, this pressure right now is relentless. Short hops online. Short hop boys! Unblockable, Unblockable online. So I don't the care. The hunt zombie are. special is the one who told us to be witch. He has turned this up to get the left. He throws against the board and trying to duck because you want to get hit by 40%. What a read. So many mix ups right there. Even more so when he's got the tidal wave and not falling for whatsoever. The, crisp, the execution has been getting more crisp from Hunt as well. With the way that he's bobbing and weaving through that Cabal aerial cancel pressure. He's going to get a punish here. No! Yeah, this is one of the big mistakes that uh, does. On wake up, they commit to the full strain. And uh, their opponent just rolls out and then punish. You yeah. shouldn't commit on, on wake up. Just try to, to poke down one, down three, down four. Or, or just uh, one min. Yeah, don't finish your strength, guys. Because again, when your opponent can roll and just can eat popcorn behind your back. <laughs> That, that does sound good. We got we got production talking about food like always. <laughs> what are we eating after this? Uh, maybe shawarma. <laughs> shawarma. Second master, tell us about your region's cuisines. What is what, what are some of your favorite foods from your region? Go. Shawarma, of course, very popular. Everywhere you go, you see shawarma here. Uh, also Spell grills that? here. Grills. Uh, chicken tikka. Uh, Beef, beef tikka, lamb, lamb chops. Uh, Yo, lamb is so good. Shawarma. Yes, I'm looking yes. it up. What is? Fuck that but looks I, good. Falafel, if you know falafel. Oof, falafel. Yes. You give me any form of grilled chicken, and I'm I'm in there. Lamb Bro, if you come to, to here, my country, Fart. we will treat you very well here. You will love uh, the food here in the Middle East. It's, it's really good. If you ever visit Dubai or all. Honestly, I have, I have, Dubai is on my bucket list. But yes, for, uh, uh, yeah, it's on everyone's bucket yeah, list. Yeah, I, I, exactly. But for me, it's for a weird reason. It's because um, of tennis. They used to hold tennis tournaments like on rooftops in Dubai, and it used to be the coolest thing ever. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it always looks so beautiful. But anyways, we should probably talk about a match here. But shoutouts to the Middle East region and Tekken Master for being here. The players here putting on a beautiful show. And just going to find I out a little bit more about it. Don't you ever thank me, say you should thank yourself. <laughs> we are here to help you uh, and just make it look better. I got enough that sounds good. That's gonna be a bit confirmed. Okay, yes. Yeah, I'm okay, not Hollywood Tech Master. I try not to get take any props whatsoever anymore. Sorry. I'm done with it. <laughs> almost like that same one almost worked out for me. Yeah. I made it over. Oh, <laughs> The hunt zombie special, the short hops. Dude, that okay. might be the Every time, hunt zombie is hitting. Yeah, sir, it's at least 35%, 34. Yeah. That's not code account, bro. You can't just mash against Kabal, you need to be patient. You and can't mash no against Kabal. Yeah, yeah. Now it's no conversion. He had the bar and everything. If you could have the geyser from, he would have been. Women. I'm not gonna make that one. Let's get back. Nice reaction on the sunny to do this. Tiger from Kabul. Okay, this is not over yet. Not over until it's over from Yasser. Uh, he didn't have war to amplify his stomach one. Okay. Yasser is being more careful now. Oh! Okay, he's trying to anti air stunning one. I don't think he can. Only close got. Okay, yeah, remix. Just minus one. I mean, Every yeah. rank player mashes after this uh, <laughs> string. For sure. It's 4 4 or whatever. 4 3? One. Yep. 4 3, yes. Minus 1. Every rank okay. is gonna check you oh. down. Big damage. Yes, sir. What are you doing? Don't get hit. Oh, he didn't do the. the, the Why did he do the. Uh, the yeah. double hitting tidal wave. Oh, oh yes. no. Oh no. You gotta take advantage now. This situation where you don't want to be in MP11. Oh, okay. Oh, Actually, Hunt Zombies God. read that role, but uh, he did it too early to uh, amplify a projectile. Uh, that was scary because Yasser gave that away a little bit 
when he didn't chip out and he had definitely had the resources to do so with the tidal wave just wanted to do the 134 right there maybe he was actually betting it on just a 50 50 and it was just a really good block now that i think about it from hunt but he still closes this down and we still he's still going to send us to our first game five on stream it's about time all these yep. game fives that happen off stream yes i need it we do let us see the, the special animation. Oh, oh, is oh, 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 you're oh. gonna see Attack Master. When yes, yes. See, guys, there will be a transformation now. Are you ready? Oh. Do you want, do you want to Wait. bring it in, Attack Master? Yes. Alright, hype up game five when I tell you to. Not yet, not yet. Okay. Also, it looks like. It lagged. It did. Uh. Ooh. Thankfully, it lagged here. Thankfully, it lagged thankfully, here. Thankfully, thankfully, yeah. it lagged out there. Yeah. And not in the middle of a match. No matter what, yeah. guys, I'll, I'll, I'm going to replay it simply because it wasn't in the match. Simply because it wasn't in the match. Yeah, it's 2-2 two -two now and game 5. And Zombies really needs to take this if he wants to get his revenge from Hamu. Hamu is waiting for him. He loses the bracket. Uh, Sorry guys about this. It happens all the time. We play online. That's right. We face these uh, troubles all the time. Well, that's weird. It's it's all because it's easy from Iraq, like I said. Usually the connection between Kuwait, uh, UAE, uh, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain. We don't have troubles. Also Lebanon. Lebanon, the ping with them is high, but we connect with them. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, we got the. Pacific champion in the chat as well, Mr. K Japan. We were just talking about you a little bit earlier, Mr. K. Why are you a robot? Is my <laughs> is my question. Why are you just a robot? <laughs> that dude was pulling off flawless blocks and OSs that should not exist from a from a human executional standpoint. So shouts to Mr. K for, for winning Pacific Cheers. I'm just waiting on Hunt to get back in here. Invite is out. And producer, you are. You are, you are right. We, guess who we haven't, we haven't given any love to? Hitbox, baby! Your presenting yeah. partner of the Coliseum. Both of Shout my out previous... them, guys. Yeah. yeah. I, I my... need to get one. But... <laughs> oh, do you want to try one? Uh, um... I, haven't tried, I haven't tried any. Even the arcade stick, I, I just play, you know, just, pad. just for fun. Hey, I, 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 I played the arcade stick just for fun, you know, but I, I wasn't feeling comfortable using them. So uh, the, I am the forever thing, a pad player. <laughs> the thing about this is just how much of a control you get over your notational inputs with them yes, being yes. single button. I think this, right? this could be easier board. for me than the, the arcade stick. This is better. Guys, check out Hitbox, hitboxarcade.com slash Coliseum. I'll put the link in the chat once I put this thing down. The hardest thing to get over is jumping with this right here. But, but once you get past that, it just feels like you have control over everything at all times. And the execution is crisp. Wave dashes, crisp. Trust me. Check out Hitbox. Yeah. What, what, what is this? Is this a button check or what? <laughs> We're seeing Shokan. Oh, no way. and go. there it is! Oh, game, game 5, boys! Hype! Hype, what's up, guys? The chat! Music's turning up. Yep. We got Papa Shao Khan. Okay, he's so he's got... going with the mid projectile. Yeah. Mid projectile, mid which is really yep. fast, really strong. If it is twice in okay. a row, it has a KV on He has the low mix up as well, the low hammer. And I think. Yo, probably the air extender. He blocked it! No way. He was he ready for it. it. Yes, he is. Uh, I think Hanzo has been, been using more Shokan since uh, they buffed him. I played Combat League the other day and I ran into like seven Shokans in a row. Can we talk about this one? He didn't have to fight? Why? He could have had to fight and two down two. What? Ooh. Okay, nice. Mm. He wanted to surprise them with a new character. Face off, thank you. Has been Shao Kahn is playing this game in this patch. Ooh, no throw. You're so afraid of like back three right there. You're so afraid of a four three. Down four. 
Hammer toss, safely. Yeah, guys, if you if if, if we didn't get louder, it's because we we cranked it, we we cranked the volume here in game number five. <laughs> okay, jump force. 50 50. Yeah, is not out yet, yes. He needs to keep him in the corner. Okay, down one and two. Shoulder. What is it? Risk your life and two win. Back three. Let's go. I risk hyper I can't believe it. Oh, the guys block, okay. Keep him self alive. Just one hit now. Not over. It is now. Down one. But the fatality from. Congrats to Anton with. And the GG to Yasser, he gave us a really good show with the rain. We did, I didn't oh, wonderful show. You see such a good performance from him. With rain. Game uh, over. He's out now with 7th place. Game over. The 7th place, but man. I actually never thought about this. Shao Kahn might be, right now, one of the best first to one characters in MK11. Because if you mess up one time against one of his 7,000 gimmicks that could still be plus on block, like, you're, you're fucking dead. You, you're just dead, and then you're like, oh my god, I have a half sit oh, right out of the gate. Come on. Shotgun's, Shotgun's kind of scary. Good games, good games to both. GG's awesome. Wonderful, really nice wonderful, wonderful job, yeah, sir. And Hunt, moving on to face Hamo in the next round. This is heating up. Thank you for the, for the performance, gentlemen. Okay, so next we should have uh, the underdog of the tournament, Mr. Black versus versus John Key. Kano Loyalist right there. Let's see some forward one action. Ooh. Right, let's yeah, let's get to okay, because uh, actually, like, you have to use only one sling with the character. He only has forward one, you know. Uh, sure. His other strengths are not useful. Back two is not safe. Back one has no range. Uh, uh, he has a good poke down one, but for forward one, <laughs> that's it. No need to use other things. Maybe standing two four, but it's a high. Sonky likes to use it uh, since he equips the extended strengths variation. Standing two four into mix. It doesn't use uh, the biopod. Maybe he doesn't like it because it scares too much and has yeah. too much risk attached to it. Versus but. versus watching like Rewind win Pro Comp by the Oh, MG, bro. Every time I just, watch Rewind, I laugh hard. I laugh. Just, you know? <laughs> 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 it's just, it's just oh, like, and it works every time. Game. Bro, when I watched him versus uh, Dragon at WePlay, I was. Oh, uh, maybe I, I was watched this set like but... 10 times in my home. I was laughing every time. From M versus Dragon. Uh, no one's, no one's ready for something to be active that quick from that far away. No. All right, Sonki invite is about to be on the way. Sweet, the most active player. Yo, he's rocking a Siri avatar from Witcher Three. Shout out to Sonki. Yeah. Here's kind of Bay. Sonki. <clears throat> why, why do I name myself Tekken? Because uh, I used to play Tekken before. I was the best in my region. Ooh. I took Tekken very seriously. And then things changed for me. I went and played uh, NRS back in 2015 competitively. But I, I, I used to play MK9 as well, but not competitively. Only in Bahrain uh, I joined tournaments, but not outside. Right. And his brother, Tekken Legend, was in this bracket as well. The whole Tekken family. Where's Mr. Yeah. Mr. Black is from Saudi Arabia? Yes, he is from Saudi Arabia. I face him in, in his tournaments, and uh, he has a really good Scarlet. He actually beat a really good player. Let me check on his run. Scarlet's been in every top eight so far on Global. Yeah. There might be something there, guys. And Scarlet was also um, running EU as well uh, with uh, Macaron. Like, yeah. Scarlet's, Scarlet's kind of cooking right now. Yeah, actually, Mr. Black beat Yasser uh, before he sent him to losers. 
Ooh. And we already saw how good the Yasser is. Yeah. So this could be really interesting to watch. Is is he going to be able to keep Kano off of him? Is going to be the biggest thing. Does does Scarlet crouch it? It's, uh, no, no, uh, the afford one screen? No. I'm not sure to be honest. Yeah, I get uh, Who knows anything about Scarlet? So. Loki. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Maybe she does. We'll see. Also, thank you so I... much to Cryptus in the chat for purchasing our um, soundtrack on our website just now. Thank you guys so much. And if you guys like the music that you hear throughout the entire show, it's our own music written and performed by Mortal Kombat players, and you guys can purchase it at Fantastic our website. Um, I'm gonna put the link in. Chat right now. I forgot the exact code for it. There it is. Check it out at coliseum.gg slash store. Let's get into the match. Okay. Oh, did he just start the round with a command throw? <laughs> okay. That's animalistic. Yeah. <laughs> like it doesn't reach. But this is okay. Conditioning is happening already from the beginning of the round. Ooh. Just a Jedi mind read of that, yeah. that thinking he was gonna pull to one and trying to catch it early with the one two. That was really smart. Really good. Oh no, yeah, the really, is really good thing. Yeah, uh, Sonki he equips uh, buff down to down three. Gives him. You can't zone him, you know. Yep, and it also gives him different hit confirms, which is really nice. Trickier stuff. Oh, okay. He wanted to parry with the full Scarlet, but unfortunately he released the parry in the last second and he got hit. Yeah, oh, oh, I wanted to close, but change it up a little bit, yeah. Okay, Michael oh, does. Oh. Nice. Okay. You would always see a Scarlet Pairs does that, but there is a close block gap. And to avoid using close block, you need to parry. Mm. Yeah, never break. Barely missed there. Okay. Ah, oh, don't see. Okay, better blow. Oh, I am my god, nope. is the better blow? Maybe he messed. The strength I is for him. Okay, okay now, now, now. Yeah. I think I... he could have killed him with the, with the yeah. amplify. Just the circuit amplify. I think he had the bar. Because he really need the fatal blow. Yeah, he had the bar. Mm, the interesting, yeah. I think that his mentality was I'm going to drop Sorry. this and then look for one more fatal blow. <laughs> and that's, uh, sometimes we like that. Ooh, I like that. I like that movement there. Plus six. By, by Mr. Black, he kind of like wave dash backwards, even though it went nowhere, and then he was able to crash with kind of visual trickery. Gets a teleport in the dagger, but has he been able to punish anything that Kano is with? Nice Mike the Duck there. Even, even though the command grab is a little bit of trouble for him here, gets it there. Tried to read uh, a breakaway. That's what that burst is for. That's her armor break, guys. And if it does armor break, launch into the skies. Oh, yes. He left Kano. He left Kano. <laughs> He's close blocking the standing 2 4. Up. Punish it really well. Yeah. Don't look down on Mr. Black. The underdog of the tournament, yes, Armor Break. It. First game goes to Mr. Black. Wow, what a performance oh, from Mr. Black. Hold on. The players are coming from everywhere, man. Every week I see someone a new come joining ESL. First it was this guy, then MBS also. We have a lot of good players from Saudi Arabia. They're really good in here. Yeah. 11. Um, that's the first thing I looked at was the bracket, and I was like, man, half of this thing is Saudi Arabia, and the other half is Bahrain. There's, there's, it's, you guys are coming in stacked. Yeah, we have guys rooting for uh, Mr. Black, Ammo. Always Ooh. it happens in tournaments, you know, underdog. They all cheer for him. <laughs> I I feel like if you don't root for Scarlet here, like you're a villain. Yeah, Gu guaranteed. Like, who actually wants Kano to win? Let's be serious. Maybe, maybe. Maybe if you're playing against Satrion or, yeah. <laughs> or Joker. The, the top tiers, you know? If you're exactly. playing against top tiers. Yeah. All the top tiers. He had some really good, really good micro duck reads and actually got some punishes where earlier in the round, he was missing out on them. He, he, he definitely tightened up his books. He went along, found a couple of balls, blockable gaps. And he, and he just uses that Scarlet pressure just like the way it should be, you know, just nice and easy. Um, don't overcommit. If you do overcommit, you know, 
it's a hard read, but he's also covering that hard read with a, with a hard read of his parry, and like everything's already been working out for him. It's like these these guys are at a really deep level in the competitive meta as far as his offensive defense. And geez, Black yeah. is cooking right now. Mr. Black could into. Uh... Okay, nice. Yes, you should duck after the air cano mm, board because it whiffs. And even you can block the Amplify while crouching because it keeps him besides you and this minus 11. Very important thing to do because if you just stand and block it, it's safe. Yes, I don't think um, Scarlet can duck it because he's not ducking it. Nice punish from Sonki! The overhead is not safe. For some reason, uh, Scorpion's overhead is safe, but Scarlet is not. Maybe because of the crushing blow attached to it. Back throw, come back to the corner. Ooh. Ah, the overhead that I hate so much, bro. <laughs> Why is it safe? This is matter? safe? It, it's safe, yeah, but the uh, no, the uh, overhead is not safe. The Scarlet overhead is not safe, but for some reason, the Scorpion and uh, Keno, they get away with it. This is really unfair, you know? especially for Keno, because it has a, a follow-up. And it has a crushing blow as well. Did you guys hear Tekken Master's most subtle, low-volume no in the middle of that ring? Um, <laughs> I asked him, why is it safe? <laughs> like, can you give me an answer as to why it's safe? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. NRS! NRS, please! We are used to it. For those newcomers, get used to it. To see unbalanced things. But we still Whoa. love MP11. And, uh, okay. Oh, that was. This will kill. This should kill. If it, it doesn't add, this will kill. Guaranteed. 1-1, one, one. Yeah. that's unfortunate for Mr. Black, he wasn't patient enough to block the forward one, but again Sonki, coming out. Cryptus, I'm also second guessing why that second short hop whiffed, when he was just blocking low right in front of it. Does it have no range really, Aziz? Well, which is crazy because her leg does like a roundhouse. You feel like it would have longer range, like yes, yes, yes. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Is she secretly like Gears, where it actually goes nowhere? Mm. Or or Jade's? Hey, has anyone done Jade's short hop kick? Just put it in the trash can. It's, it's really shit. It has no it's no. Shit. Name. <laughs> I'm not used to Tekken Master cursing either. This is fantastic. He's like, <laughs> it's shit. It's, 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 that's all it is. It's just shit. <laughs> yeah. There is a, no other way to describe it. It has no range. And it's similar to Darstam, you know, the, the screw kick. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. That's um jump. What is that? Down medium kick. Ooh. Uh, I, I used to know. I used to know. Ba ba back down uh, medium kick or lower low kick. Back down. Anyways, okay, so. Mr. Black again, it's called it. I don't think he has other characters other than Scarlet. He's stand, standing one, two, stagger, good pressure. Oh! Short hop, yes, this is one of the ways of dealing with uh, Kino. Mix, command grab or forward one. Ooh. But if, if he did forward one, two, it will catch him. So I, I suggest you to micro deck better than forward hopping. Okay. Oh, I'm dropping this combo. Usually, this combo gets dropped. Oh, one two four and two faster blow, nice. Yes. yes. If you get hit by the down one, and then command get up, you can't punish him. Dude, that's it exactly works. it. Awful. This is why I don't like doing down one to command get up, mm -hmm. even with Kotakan, you know. If you do down one and to command get up, it's it's too risky. I don't think it's so worth it. Right. Now yeah, it's so risky. Know, your better option is to just do down four command grab, which is Tekken Master Blast. Plus. On whip, on <laughs> like why? <laughs> yes, down four into command grab. Why is down four know? command grab still plus? It's safe. It's plus on <laughs> on block. It's just I don't know. Man. It's it's similar to Ben Ben's command grab. It has no recovery. I know. This I know. Is what it is. Pain. Let's just... talk about Mr. Black now. And, uh, He's feeling think... it. Ooh. Yeah. Did you say that? I think that Sonky didn't want to go for the back one because it already whipped on Scarlet number one. 
these challenges was just one two from Blackheart on point. No flawless blocks on the string either. I think it's because he's mixed up the stagger so well as well. My bad on that on the flag as well. Just grab that these guys switched. And he's gonna ride Scarlet down. And this is just he does all of this for no reason. That's just excessive. Okay, no, you okay, savage bastard. He, he needs one hit. I think he can do it. Sunky, this is Sunky. The guy who never gives up. Let's see. Oh, oh over it. Okay. Oh, KKB, no. Is it the worst the feeling in the world if, if you get KB'd by the overhead, <laughs> you know? Yeah, Kano's overhead. And there's so much you gotta worry about on that jump, and whether it be command grab, whether it be the full. Ooh, that's for Mr. Black, he had him in the first, second round. Then he, he would win. Oh! Wow! That was... But no, the micro duck, yeah, micro duck from. Oh, okay, nice. I Black think he brain. should use standing 2 4 and 2 ball row to beat the cross block. And these challenges, he's done that multiple times. He's just woken up with the 1 2. He's using Scarlet like Blue can and it's working. And I never thought I'd say that. Here in competitive MK11, did that breakaway was gonna come? And he's putting the gaps there. They're just not getting flawless blocked by Sonic. Oh, well, how shit. is he hitting this KP? Think about the devil? I don't know, man. Rock late. <laughs> oh, but if we uh, see. Mr. Black. Almost what? like witnessing a unicorn Tekken Master, we saw someone air to air came out. I feel like that in of itself is a miracle. As Mr. Black. Yeah. Three takes the lead. Donkey, he really should use the Biocore man and uh, the what do you call it? The it's down back four. I forgot the name of the it. The acid. Yeah, down back four. The acid. Acid. The, acid. Um, I think it's called acid toss. Mm, Ch maybe. Ch what's that called? I forgot. Help me, guys. Crap. I don't know either. So yeah, after after done one, he, his turn ends. You know, you need that. So it uh, never ends. <laughs> so it never ends. Exactly. Yeah. That was the, that was that, that and that's what really opens up the down one command grab. Chemical burn. Thank you, thank you, Elmo. Chemical burn. Elmo, if you weren't subscribed to the channel, I would have given you a sub for that. <laughs> Game four. That's some good back and forth action here. A mm, couple times that Sonky's Hello, gone for medias, medias go too early, and Black just has this way of 50 50 whether he delays, he, he delay wake ups. Yeah, even uh, or yeah. if you guys noticed that whenever Sonky does a cross block, he does standing 2 2 with the uh, you know, because it's, it's really good. Really good option. Oh. Whenever. Uh, see? Oh, okay. He's been doing that since like more than a year. Oh, missed, missed the flawless block there. And that was actually canceled. Oh, again! Again! Why are you blocking late, bro? Maybe because of micro ducking. Yeah. You block late. Oh, that? <laughs> that's it? That's the, that's the anti micro ducker right there. Aziz, subscribe to you. Thank you, Aziz, for subscribing. To Aquaman. Hey! Thank you, Aziz. Now you can praise the sun in the chat. I'll throw Baraka. Throw, throw Baraka. Baraka is beside you. He has not. I don't think he's flawless blocked the third hit of that string one time. And how low Scarlet Entire is not close enough for the burst. And one thing that he uh, hasn't done is he has not once. That may have been one of the smartest things I've ever can seen. Can we that talk about this punish? That was yeah, ridiculous. That's a, that's a really good one. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Yeah, one thing that a lot of players don't recognize is the importance of tactics. Staging tactics. It's a game-changing mechanic. Oh, you no. should use it, you know, to get out of the corner, just throw things uh, on your opponent. But sometimes they let you do that as well. Congratulations to Mr. Black. That was some clean Scarlet play right there, Tekken that's, Master. That's Three an upset, bro. The second upset of the, yeah? the tournament. Oh, oh, 
is. Gone he's mad. cooking here a little bit. He's, uh, he's, he's cooking here a little bit. Where are the all the uh, Scarlet down players? See? Yeah, see yeah, yeah where guy. are they? <laughs> where y'all at? I, I dare someone, and I truly mean this. I dare someone to downplay Scarlet <laughs> in the chat. Just watch. I double dog dare you. Uh, whenever you you tell me I dare someone, I you remind me of your video when you when you played against there. I dare you. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, X, bro. What, what, whatever you said there, this is completely true, bro. It's completely true. Yeah, uh, okay, X is just. If you guys haven't seen that clip, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I I I don't know how to find it right now, but uh, maybe I'll do that later in the show. But definitely go check yeah. that out. Mm, crazy. Brad guy with a sub says production quality looks incredible. Thank you guys. We are trying to put on a really good show here. That's our entire round one. And before we get to our first break of the night, so we can have a little bit of a, of, of a brief breath here on production and commentary. I want to shout out some of the events that are happening within the community and what's happening on the Coliseum next week. So let's take a look at the schedule for next week of the Coliseum Global. We're coming up. We, have, we are going to Latin America, baby. We got Latam South, Latam North, and we've got Brazil all week long, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. For North America, it's going to be later in the evening. Um, thank goodness, because waking up early is, is nice and fun. Luckily, Middle East here is a little bit closer, and we're able to have like a nice little afternoon stream. It's been wonderful, and it's, it's evening time for you guys. And that's going to be next week here on Global, guys. Um, I'm going to have Top Siete Games on with me. I believe I'm going to have uh, uh, Bowie with me for, for Brazil. It's going to be a good time. I'll announce the commentators uh, probably tonight or tomorrow. And we've also got some stuff happening in the community. Let's check it out. What else can you guys watch? What else can you guys compete in? We've got Champions of the Realms. Oh, we caught it on right as it, right as it flipped over. That's okay. It's going to come back. It's going to come back. Fuck it. Outworld Television. It goes on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and Justice Television is actually um, kicking off, I believe, this next Wednesday. And then their schedule is going to change to Monday through Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday starting next week so this is going to change but check out the guys over there at outworld television twitch.tv slash outworld television they've been doing an amazing job it's a constant occurring event that's incredibly hype the production's really fun hot rods killing it over there and we've also got some other events going on in the community champions of the realms the final qualifier this is mortal kombat x destroyer and caboose cgl everyone over there june 30th is going to be their final call kx their finale on june 9th and the next ECT Community Throwdown, which is a, a Mortal Kombat 11 series, they got a couple games, but the next Mortal Kombat 11 event is July 6th. Go follow them at East Coast Throwdown on Twitter for when registration and all that pops up for that July 6th event. And that's what's going on out there in the community, guys. Yeah, there's a lot more. We just wanted to highlight a few things that you guys can watch for the next couple of weeks outside of Coliseum. Highlight some of these other uh, great content created. For but Tekken, we're gonna take our first break We'll, we'll have five minutes to just hang out, go use the restroom, get some more water, and we'll be back with some more Middle East action, baby. Don't go Don't anywhere. Don't go anywhere, guys.
the Coliseum Studios is presented by Hitbox. Take control at hitboxarcade.com slash Coliseum. And if you like what you've been hearing, it's our own official soundtrack. Purchase or listen today at Coliseum.gg. Everyone, hope you enjoyed that a little bit. Oh, Mike's out. Hold on. Mic check. One, no, two. No, no, it's good. Oh, we're good. Okay. Sorry about that, everyone. Welcome back to the Coliseum Global Middle East. My name is Mr. Aquaman, the guy that is the curator of the Coliseum. I guess, in a sense, and joining me is one of the probably greatest representatives of that region, and I couldn't think of anyone else to come join me. Tekken Master. Thank you, brother. Uh, I'm hyped for what's coming next. <laughs> Hunt so, and Hamo? Uh, Hunt and Hamo, yeah. Then also we have Mr. Black and uh, Beeper. And on the one that's final, coming after we have our first two losers sides, then we'll be coming to one that's final. So we'll see. Hope everything goes well as far as the connection and everything. Let's do it, guys! Ooh, Tekken Master getting hype. Hold on a second. I'm not. I'm not. Tekken, I'm down. I, I need to bring it down a couple of decimals. You're getting a little too crazy here. <laughs> Let's fucking go, baby! Yeah. That? Let's go! That? Is that a little bit better here? Yeah. Do you have the, do you have the Ooh. Let's take a look at this. That these guys know where like we are. What's going on? And now it's updated. As you can see, guys, the run back that everyone wanted to see. Uh, I know Faisal uh, didn't do well versus our team. Loser's final. Actually, he performed well in this set, but it was yeah, the it one was... for Wasim. Yeah, he did really well, Faisal, actually. So I'm really it hyped. Is. It's it's time to make things right for Faisal, you know? If he had the second chance, it's now. But Wasim is going to prove himself that he still he didn't win by luck or anything. Won by solidness. And uh, on bottom, we have Hamoon. Versus Hand Zombies, the run back from the winner's side because Hamu took it, P2, and Reaper versus Mr. Black, which I'm really looking forward for. But unfortunately for Mr. Black, Reaper uses Fujian, which is one of the hardest picks for Scarlet. Let's go. Mm, indeed, it's gonna be very mobile. It's gonna be hard for her to breathe a little bit in this matchup, or in that matchup, I should say. We're gonna have Hunt. Run up against Hummo right now. Both players are in. We're gonna get the character select screen, and we're gonna begin losers quarterfinals, guys. Then we'll get into Reaper versus Black, and then we'll finally jump up to that match that I know everyone wants to see: Faisal versus Wasim. That's gonna be fantastic, no matter how you split it. I'm gonna get these guys' flags updated as well. So don't yell at me. I'm working on it. Love you guys. Hummo uh, from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Actually, he lives in Saudi Arabia, but he's not. He's from Lebanon, so it's okay. Han Zombies just came to Bahrain <laughs> recently. Oh, hey, I, that, that counts. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Han Zombies right, from and Kuwait. Kuwait. Okay. So, Sindel, the pick that uh, Hamu picked to beat uh, Han Zombies, but surprisingly, Han Zombies. Still believing Kotal, not going to ball or even Shogun. Ah, oh, first neutral jump as we saw from Hamu. Ah, oh, and Kotal, bro, come on with these input errors, Hamu. Oh, he oh he no, too. <laughs> he was, ah, what the like breakaway as well? This is a pretty fun matchup because they're they're both such bullies with their yeah, big. Yeah, this, this matchup actually uh, it's not pleasant for Kotal because he has to chase. In there all the time, but and once you take the life lead, you can just uh, put the sun ray and just chill. Yeah, see, no. uh, see, no patience from Hamu. I also know that this is, I think, that in this matchup, just knowing Hamu really well, he may have given up at, at the fact that it is Kotal Khan to begin with. He hates Kotal Khan more than any other, yeah, he does because he's savage, you know, he's just. Uh, his life 
I think his HP was yes 1100. Now it's 1050. Which is like better I, for Hamu now. Should be. I, I know win or loss, I'm always gonna bitch about Kodal in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, myself even I don't like to play against Kodal Kama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 4 2, it's a nightmare, you know? Hey, he's scared. Oh! That was a big green. Nice. Unbreakawayable. <laughs> yeah, Sun, boys! Now. Yeah, he still has the screen. Oh, okay, no. oh he draws from the first blow. So it's, it's, uh, it became 1 minus. So he punished him with a 4 2 4. Oh, first gun goes to hunt zombies. He wanna just eat him alive. <laughs> I've never seen. Just... I've never seen another Kotalkan do what Hunt does. That's one thing I like to do, um, is that that sword that he's using, and he's just kind of throwing it out. If you hit that from a certain distance and beyond, safe. it's safe. safe. And yeah, that's why you saw Especially against that uh, Sindir. Sindir, yeah, I don't think yeah. she can punish it. Mm -mm, Maybe, not at all. Maybe uh, back forward one, not so and fast it, enough. And it, it's Dash so one good one. because it's a mid. It's pretty fast, and it hits everything in front of Kotal Khan. You can't jump it, you can't press a button, it'll just absorb it. And if you have a totem, it's, again, guaranteed massive damage. And the way that he's utilizing it, perfection so far. Yeah. He couldn't show us his quarter very well when he fought the other, but now, since the pink uh, is working out better for, yeah, for uh, Hammo and Han Zombies. <laughs> Uh, fix, uh, just fix the black, the uh, Hamu and Zombies. Hamu is from Lebanon. Anyways, so, oh, what? what? I never saw that before. For 2 and 2, down for 2? Have Did you seen it? that before? No, he, he, he anti aired it. He anti aired it. Oh. That's it, with it. 4 2 and 2, for, down for 2. What oh, was that? And Zombies. What a god. Well, they can loyalists since day one also, not just Sonki, this guy also is a royalist for so... the gun, but Ooh. he's been using the other characters as well. Guaranteed, boys, guaranteed, boys, guaranteed. Can we speak about guarantees now? Guaranteed damage. This is a guarantee. Guaranteed. Why doesn't anyone use totems? It's so good. Because uh, it takes time to enough of what I did. Yes, I know. yes. I, know. Yeah, I also don't like to use uh, totems. High risk, high reward. That's pretty much the definition of a baby. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's a high risk, but high reward puts in a minus moderate situation. Is that better? Yes. Use jail, jail in the stand for totem, mm. and then most most characters can't even like the range that stand for totem puts you at. Like your forward one beats out anything but a down four. Beautiful. Look. One of the best things that Kodal has is his up two, for his up two. Okay. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, it's, his, really, it's really good. It's very fast. Yeah. I, th I think he's probably top three in yes, wake yes. up. Yes, yes. For sure, for sure, yeah. I think uh, the best wake up character may be Scorpion because his up three is safe even if you're close to it. Ooh. What an input. thought it was going to be on block and he caught... Homo jumping early right there, so it just sucks you into the command grab. Look at this face he had. He needs no, to be the best the to show that uh, wow. he has all the patience in the world. Just stand there do nothing. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Why would you? Oh. What's happening? Oh my god, wake up! I'm bleeding! Oh, no. <laughs> He's gonna win. He's oh gonna okay, okay, yes, yes. He punished oh the fault. Yeah. And, yeah, and you honestly, can punish faults for up three, yes. That, that is one saving grace of Kotal Kahn in this matchup, is forward 2 does a good job of dealing with that particular string. Would it be on hit or whiff, because, or, or on block as well, because if you, it becomes a mind game of you can barely walk forward, and forward 2 kind of checker after the forward 4 up 3 on block, it still becomes a mind yes, game. Yes, yes, yes. But a beautiful whiff punish there. Yeah, also you can beat the forward 4, you know, just uh, mm. mix it with, so you can punish it with the forward 2. A lot of uh, players uh, does that, actually. And... Uh, Sometimes it's it's annoying for Sender. Uh, since even you can't uh, hit confirm the force war, Sender just have to commit with uh, any special. After. Yes. That's why they always do force war up three. Push back, stay safe, but no damage. Scream. 
I think I think a lot of people are saying that the tornado is the best special move in the game. No, I think this is the better. What um and L scream? Yes, it's better. Uh, at least has a KB, best KB. Yeah, the KB. It's just so big and so active. Yeah, so active. It covers everywhere except full screen. Ooh, just out of range to get the actual stack there. Did you see it? Did you see? Oh, Did you see that? Right. I've so, I've never seen him doing that before actually. Only in this set. Four, Is this one? the tech? The new tech that we've been wanting with? <laughs> The range that he's doing work. at is exactly what you want to do because four one is a god tier anti air. Yes, from that that's distance. why I was surprised. Four two, mm -hmm. yeah, dude. Yeah, four two as well. Oh no! Rolls into the back too. Hello, oh, finally onto something here. Yes, yes. You got 50-50? Ooh, that's really. Never count. Oh, what? Did he really risk it? He bet it. He could have finished it forward one two two and two fifty bro. Oh my god, how more? Afraid of committing. Again and again. Mm. <laughs> Hold on to the totem? Yes. Yep. Hold on and then command them. grab! Keith, this is, this is so much damage. Half of your life is almost gone. He's probably gonna totem up again. Yeah, but I, I like what Aziz does actually after this AP. He does hold on to the unblockable. Just in time Jesus. to hit the opponent. Oh my god, the damage! Oh, wait. I didn't take oh, the fight. Oh, Just stay in the corner. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. He, he actually wins this trade. And he went right through the back too. Amplify! Right the corner. Uh, Disgusting. Oh. What a call out. They did just three hits. Better than Citrion's B and B. Yes. With with what? One totem? Yes. I actually can't remember the totem back there, but still amazing game. That's what I like about not having con cut Where's is that song? you actually have an ender, like a universal ender. You dance right me. Especially ground. Uh, is, this Boom. is this it for Hamo? Or he's gonna fight back? Sunday, no, he got out of Jimmy's by 1 2 2. Uh, no, praise the sun all day long. No, he still have the scream in uh, KB, I think he, he still can't do the. Just throw the sun. Which is really annoying for Kotakan this matchup. Ooh. Okay, 1 1. He wanted to throw the 1 1 2, so he got clipped uh, back for 1. What? Did you just mash after the down three on head? <laughs> <laughs> this is oh, what you do against Kotal Khan. Oh, he risked it. Yeah, it worked out. That was so risky. Yes, but he's up. He was up to oh, GG for Hamo. Fifth. Hamo going out at. I don't fifth, think Hamo would be happy with this performance actually. Oh, zombies went wild against Hamo. And but he I, really this played had to be, well. This had to be icing on the cake. Extra, an extra knife to the heart that it was Kotal Khan, because I know that Hamo hates that son of a bitch so much. He he hates Kotal Khan with, with, with every fiber of his being, so. No. So now he's going to hit him even that, more? Yeah. Just, like, I, I have a feeling that he was mentally kind of out of it well, once but, he saw Papa Khan on the other side of the screen. Yeah. But Hamo won our hearts. <laughs> Absolutely. He played really well against Faisal, I'm, I'm, I'm still impressed from the way he played it. And unfortunately, you know, uh, maybe you could have just gone with an, another character. But this is the character that he beat Han Zombies with and did. And went aside and uh, he believed in her. But he went 2-0 down. Why don't you just try Jackie? Yeah. But also, <laughs> Han Zombies knows how to play with Jackie. I don't Dude, like to play, pick a Jackie against <laughs> Han Zombies. The Kotal play was super clean too. Again, really yes. unique things that he was doing. He wasn't overextending with command grab at all. He was keeping it really safe with the pressure. He was um, distancing his special perfectly so that it was just an, an annoyance for him. That's Homo. why I wanted him to play, you know? Mm -hmm. So he can impress you with his Kotakan. We have the oh, best Kotakan here in the Middle East in the and world. Yes, I the agree. World. That was that was disgusting. Yes. That was disgusting. Yes. Really good job. But you haven't seen uh, everything from him. Let's wait and see. Cause next, he's gonna fight the winner of Reaper and Mr. Black. So it, it will look really good for him because historically he's been doing really well against Reaper. And uh, but there is a guy named Macaron 
who has been playing with Scar Scarlet and mm -hmm. uh, and zombies couldn't beat him in one of the tournaments that happened way. and winners and losers yes so if Mr. Black can win against Reaper this will be harder for Hans zombies uh, because he doesn't maybe know how to deal with Scarlet but also but he has Cabal now he has Shao Kahn he has other characters he, he would be open to use other characters Yep, Reaper and Mr. Black coming up next. Reaper is Bahrain, if I remember correctly. Yes, I remember. I'm from Bahrain. He's eight, I think he's uh, 18 years old. Ooh. He's young. Young man reaction, but he doesn't have good reactions. He told me. <laughs> That's kind of backwards. <laughs> yeah. Some people think that you are born with these re reactions, you know. What do you think? I, th I think so. I think both the practice and uh, yeah. talent. There's definitely talent. Without you know? practice, uh, you will lose your reaction. Because you know? I know that, my, like, I I don't I don't lab at all. I don't I don't practice execution at all. I just rely on raw talent. That's why I don't do well in tournaments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, because sometimes you whenever I feel, that, yeah, you have to have that. You have to put in the work. You know, have to put in yes, the work, yes. and you have to. You know, if you weren't used to being in a competitive setting, that that also can get to you too. Because if you haven't competed in a long time, again, speaking from experience, you don't compete for a long time. Those nerves can kind of come. Nerves yes, affect yes. your sure. affect your reaction times. But you know, uh, I've been playing online for a very long time now in MK11, and I really sometimes doubt my reactions. I, I cannot take throws, I cannot anti-air <laughs> on time, you know, it's just like when I, when I played in the pro competition finals, I couldn't take a single throw, maybe, mm -hmm. I remember. I couldn't, it's just I have to guess, I have to play based on reads. This is where uh, offline comes and play. It's different from online, you know, online, offline. The game is way better offline, guys, trust me, don't it hit is. on the game. Offline, you can react to everything, almost. Uh, those OTG means some characters like Shang Tsung, KZK, they have real auto chemies, but you can still react, go to practice mode, uh, record some auto chemie and throw mind game, you will see yourself reacting. Just that's, one, that's one thing that not a lot of people do, especially when they first begin, they just, they just get hit by stuff over and over again, and then they're like, FUCK! But they never go into the lab <laughs> and... It, uh, and yes, yes. You, you only complain. You know? mm -hmm. The differences between new generation and the old generation fighting game players. Now, if like uh, I am struggling, for example, against a certain character, I immediately go on social media and complain about this character. That's before, right. before you know, old <laughs> fighting games, they just try to know how to fight him, practice against him. They never complain about him. They never say this is the fear, this is the fear, this is high fear. This is a problem. Now. <laughs> they don't put in the work, you know. I agree 100%. Remember what Sonic said about 99%? He, yeah. he is actually true. This is actually I true. Agree. Yes. Put in the work. Stop complaining. We you only complain when the game comes out, you know? If, if a character you, can, you can't beat. Yes. yes. These, are, uh, these are two of the best players on planet Earth telling you their keys to success. I feel like you'd be an idiot not to do it. Like, if, if some Fox is like, you guys just aren't doing this enough, maybe you should start doing that a little bit more. Yes, yes. Like, uh, there are different cases, like, uh, for example, we saw Le Le Leroy in Tekken and uh, also Alien from MKX. There are some characters that it's really, really hard to beat that needs nerves. <laughs> this is uh, different, but now, for example, if you complain about Liu Kang, Joker, now, uh, I think Ooh. you are bad at the game. Because offline looking, you can react to all his tigers and everything. But let's talk about Mr. Black right here, winning the first round. Just absolutely the robbed the yes. right yes. there. This is this. If you're playing against Scarlet, you will uh, be defeated by her. Better blow, at least one of those. <laughs> at least one time, for a minimum yes, of least. 47. I always, whenever I play against them, I get killed by 4, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4. And they fatal blow 40 something percent. No scaling, <laughs> no scaling. Over half of Sad Jones' life. <laughs> that wasn't downplay, that wasn't downplay. Oh, 
swing with big buttons there with 4 4. I don't know, I, th I think. Reaper. Oh, okay. I was about to say that Reaper is not playing well. And then he surprised us with the false block, and that's going to be crucial against Black because we saw how how much he relied no. on that 1 2 that, that 4 3 right? and back 2 is really annoying for Scarlet players. God, God bless you, bro, Mr. Black, for having to deal with who's and now Scarlet. Props to you! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, this matchup is hard for Scarlet. You have to just stay up close and jump. Nice damage. Speaking of, speaking of easy, quick damage, string in the special, 260. What a witch punch from Reaper. Down two. Did he get the conversion? Nope. Very difficult to get. But they do this as a side switch with the Fujin side switch combo. Yeah. Close block, yes. Yeah. Staple always trying to close block jump pins. Oh! oh. Time yeah. up. And so geez. some characters they can close block actually her, her 1 to 4 because it's fast enough, you know? It's fast. But, yeah. Yes. But, I don't recommend you guys to close the too hard. Just, just close bro. To avoid chip, that's it. Yeah, see, he, he wants to zone with Scarlet. It's hard, you can't zone. Oh, don't kill yourself. What happened? Yeah, what happened? Short hop kick is the meta. Trying to get in. Okay, nice. Ooh, he wanted to convert on his head. Be really good if it is. Oh, Hasher! Reaper took a little bit of damage. Oh my knowledge. god, this situation! Oh. I actually didn't look at the timer. Fujin's <laughs> throw animation was a little Stand. too long. He, listen, that, that's what he gets for trying to trying to suck the air out of you and then hit you with it. Yeah. Taking all this time. Blacks survives the close one here in game number one. This has been a good fight so far. Reaper, when he switched to Sub Zero, mm. has, his Sub Zero has been way better than his Fusion in this tournament. Let's see some Sub Zero action. Will we see it? Yalla Reaper, Atna Shoya Sub Zero. Ah, I'm Fusion. There is no reason for him actually to change uh, Fusion, you know, because it's a good matchup for. Yeah, I heard the Scarlet players yes, they say that this matchup is 7-3, which is completely wrong. It's 6-4. I don't believe that we have a 7-3. I don't think there is a 7-3 in the game. Oh, no, no. Yeah. The worst matchup, it was uh, Baraka versus uh, Citrion, but after customs, he can equip the back forward too, you know, his uh, mm. launch. Mm. I don't know about the worst matchup in this game. Mm. It's like definitely Citrion versus someone. <laughs> or Jade yeah. versus maybe. <laughs> Jade versus, uh, yeah. yeah. Version. That had to be tough after the, the down one nerf too. Yeah. Oh, the challenge. You gonna give it the aggression? Yeah. Oh. That was an active jump kick by Fuji. Good luck with that, and that'll be the round. This storm will not pass. Yep. Well, here. Reaper is trying to adapt to the way. No sub zero needed. Yeah. So far. Oh, he's so much more aggressive already in this game. Yes, he is. He needs to. If you watched Black play earlier, that would be the adjustment, 100%. You know? Where Black was so. Cons Damn. That and broke the armor. You really get to see it. He was so aggressive with his 1-2, he was so aggressive with his buttons on Wake Up and on Reversal that it's kind of being called out right now. He's still like that game! Mm, perfect. Again, challenging him anytime he's with the back 1-1 one one, and it's gotten him a lot of straight hits Okay. another one even. Oh, he can. Oh, he has a breaker. Okay. Oh. Okay, 4-2, yes. yes. It's a really good answer actually for Fujin. Because they always like to backdash after their string, uh, poke, whatever. So here it is. Look 
going to be in chat right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I, I think uh, we're okay, no? He can, he's better after Ghost Dogs. Listen, listen to these. Anything is possible if you make the right read. Yeah, of course. Both that. Mr. Black. This game is really important actually for Mr. Black. So we can go up 2-0. I don't want to. Oh, nice! Ooh, Ooh, Ghost has been the be best it. in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Reaper's been on point with him. And he's doing everything I feel like we wish. Let me look at this bracket. It's it's everything that I feel like we wished that uh, Sonki would have done, which was challenge him a little bit more because he was getting away with a lot of button presses, a lot of one two fours, just kind of out there in the wild, especially waking up with him. The fact that he's able to put out these back one ones consistently, he's put out those big active frames, it's getting him a lot of those hits, it's slowing him down. And he's, he, he, he immediately shut down the one 2 4 on block, so it becomes an actual mind game. Versus before, Black was used to getting away with it. So he, yeah. so he's actually making Black have to second-guess a lot of these offenses right. and aggressive reads with the buttons. Sonya, yep. Fuji. What? What is this? What oh, is okay. this? Well, what's... Sonya? Nah. Sonia? nah. No. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I think Sonya nah. does better than Scarlet. Mm -hmm. But she does better than Scarlet. I believe in this pick actually. Let's see. Wait. Yeah, wait. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he went to Sonia. Um, but which variation did he pick? He has air, the air grab, and, and the machine and, and the drone. Yes. Makes sense. Have the entire projectile. Airborne lock thing just gets the raw back one. <laughs> We've seen this character starting to be used a little bit more recently over on the military. Uh, I think people forgot that you can't drop self projectiles with one one seven times. We could have done it with the. Uh, oh! oh with Fujin. He wasted the uh, backward one early. Tekken, I think that most people forget that Sonya Blade's in the game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> She just she has too much uh, too many counters now. Robo Cops and Dear Shang. You can't play her anymore. You can't play her. Uh, like a, a secondary secondary yes, but man, no way. And I thought she was gonna be way cooler in customs than she was, but it ended up being the case. The worst, bro. The worst in the game. Comp. I was like, okay, cool. Custom song it, she's gonna do some cool drone shit. Mick, back one mid. <laughs> whoa, okay. whoa, 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 No, 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 this is too much. I mean, I agree in MKX and Cold on. Did you know that, <laughs> did, yeah, did you know that I actually, I, I walked up to Paulo during MK11 at Combo Breaker, and I said, hey, Paulo, <laughs> Mick, back okay. one of a mid again in MKX, come on, buddy. And he looked like he was, he was gonna murder us. Really? I was yeah, he, he's always like that. He's always oh, like, yes. that. He did like that. He's always like that. I was like, just, I was like, I haven't even asked him about like, something. On, just <laughs> he's like Karada. Don't ask Paulo for shit. He doesn't care. The balance team. Well done to the balance team. <laughs> okay. Reaper. Actually, Mr. Black is doing well with Sonya here. One hit away from taking the second game. A really quick fatal blow. Low to two. A lot of Sonya's like to dash up into the max range of it and just boom, go for the hit. Looks like I'm right, pushing forward here a little bit. Maybe could have gone for an anti air one there, but he didn't have the health. Chipped it in stolen because, you know, Sonya's got that that Coral Khan treatment. We're up close here. Like, I can only I can only take my turn with a post in these negative situations. In these slightly negative situations. Yeah, yeah. And that's yes. tough. That's tough in them, Caleb. Yeah. Just one second. Yep. No problem. Next to the back, guys. Hey. Wanted. Oh. Get there, okay, sorry, sorry, I didn't switch everyone right when Black wanted to get out of the corner, there's active blocking with active tornado, he's stuck in there, just get the throw back in, and this is where Sonya Blade, uh, tier jumps up really high for no reason, just the corner, could have gone for some more right there, but he kept it all unbreakawayable, intentionally, that's always such a risky thing, you're like, do I get him off the resource or not? 
Reaper had, had, had some, uh, had some audacity not to do the break right there. And he's gonna get a huge fatal blow, and she's a 950 character. How about Blade might be? Let's find out together. What do you guys think? Do a run under? Dead? Or alive? She's, she's dead. Isn't, isn't there one more? I'm a liar. Still alive here. And just dashes up into a back one. That's exactly what he was doing against the Scarlet as well. He's simply getting up into a range where that back one's going to be active. And whatever the heck his opponent presses, even if it's active, it's not going to be in range to even interact interact with the hurt box of the back one. If that doesn't make sense to you guys, that's very technical. Basically, his back one at that distance, its hit box is what can hit you, and it's really big. And the hurt box is is what can be hit. What of yours can hit him? That little area. The hit box is a lot bigger than the hurt box, so you have to have something that can actually reach really far in order to hit uh, Fujin Scarlet. at that distance. And the range he was at, I don't think that, that much is going to be there to stop it. And so, just abusing the fact that Sonya has very little range, and he's going to try to do the same thing here against Scarlet. It was working in game number one. Let's see if Black can turn this around. He's had one hell of a tournament so far. Tekken Master even telling us that he, he they were considered upsets. The past two games that he won, both to get into top eight, which I'll remind you guys was against... Uh, oh, Black actually Fort. ended up getting a DQ to get to top eight. Dang, lucky son of a bitch. But the match over Sonky was definitely considered when Sonky was on the higher seats. The... So no matter what, it's a beautiful run, but I want to see this thing continue. This car has been so impressive that even more impressive. Block, not even trying to time it on the on the string block timing. That was just a raw fatal or false block in neutral right there. And you rarely see that. But I've seen a lot here. Close four two. Multiple strings. Decision. That was, I think, a perfect read on thinking that Black was gonna press him or do a projectile at that moment. Nice four three. Side switch! What's the I would have gotten hit right there. What side was Fujin actually on for a hot minute? And looking like Johnny Cage MK9 back three in. Black is disgusting. This is all Reaper right now. I mean, Black there, I think Black put the pad down there for a second. After that hit, I feel like he thought he was going to die in that moment. Collect your thoughts just for a moment here. He's trying to stay alive, but holy crap is Reaper coming off. The Fujin has slowly gotten more crisp. It was, it was looking a little subtle. The winner side, I guess we'll see, but he's trying to make top four right now. He's trying to get you the money. Speaking of the money, please, please, guys, donate to the prize pool. I want to see these guys get played or get, get played. I'm watching them get played right now in the bracket. I want to see him get paid. Hell, I also want to see him get laid. But that, that's all another story. Please donate, to, <laughs> please donate to the match arena. And I want these guys to be playing for some money, guys. Also, where are we at on that thing? $64. Thank you so much for everyone who's donated. Let's get that thing a little bit higher, baby. Oh my goodness! Is that only the second hit that landed in the crushing blow right there? I'm just throwing it. That's, that's just a free KP and hell comeback. I'm not gonna doubt this one. He's dead. He's tripled. The 349 to 428. Why does that spear do the same damage as Leonidas's from 300? Like, come on. Okay, Keep Mr. Black alive. Oh, take it. 2 1. 2 1 and surviving. A little bit of a scare on match point was Black right there. Luckily, he got. Just what he needed, something in the fatal blow for 40 something percent. <laughs> but he's yeah. not gonna have it here in the final contact. Um, uh, he doesn't need it actually now. He's having the uh, life beat. What an anti air. Oh, with the side switch as well. The best anti air in 2021. That thing is 3 for 3 in this game alone. But th that's, that's another thing that Black's been doing an awful lot of is jump in 1 2, jump in 1 2, jump in 1 2. And I gotta give Reaper all the credit in the world. He's done everything I feel like he would have needed yeah. to to get a victory over Black here. If he can even do so, because we're still going down the water. Oh, was the jump kick. Yeah. Back to four. Oh, crazy. Oh! Oh my god! 
Super stuff it with this. Good and fierce. Good like sending forfeit to the bro. Yeah. Four for four on those in the last game alone. Uh, I heard the jumping was a good solution for Fujin. I heard jumping that jumping. A... <laughs> I heard that there aren't anti airs in this game. So who's who the fuck is lying to me, Tekken Master? Uh, <laughs> <come on. laughs> Congratulations, Reaper. 3 1, putting a little bit of a freeze there. Yeah, to Mr. Black's run. It was, it was a really close one, though. Congratulations, Black, getting fifth in this tournament. Put on one hell of a show. And we're getting to the top eight, baby. We got we got the big one coming up, Tekken Master. This Was is the match I'm looking forward for for the most. Yeah? This one right here? Yeah. The yeah. battle of the Titans here. The best match. Uh, this is what I want. I came here for this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about anything else other than other than. No, no, I, I do, but uh, because you know when I saw it in the pro competition, I feel like uh, Facer got robbed, you know, in, in some of the games. But I want to see it again, you know. See, I will. Maybe we are going to. I'm gonna get some invites out. Let's take a look at the brackets so you guys can see where we are at in this. But Wasim is the best uh, player that knows how to fight Citrion. Actually, uh, when I fought him, oh my god, that was really intense. Uh, I had to really think deeply how to open him up, join him up. As you can see here, Wasim on his final versus Faisal. This is the top four guys. We have it set. And Zombies in the loser's semi final versus Reaper. Yeah, this matchup I remember it very well. Fujin versus Kotal Khan. And Zombies is one of the best. Players that knows how to fight Fujin with Kotal Khan and Reaper hates it as well. Hates <laughs> fighting on zombies. <laughs> this is I'm what I heard from him in the party everyone, yesterday. I'm yeah. gonna go to Middle East and it's just gonna be everyone going, ah, it's, a, it's too, a, a dirty Kotal player here. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do to them back in MKX Tekken that, that made them hate Kotal Khan this way? Uh, actually, I wasn't playing much online. Very late of the game, I started playing. My brother Undertaker convinced me with Aziz to play online, but I wasn't a fan of online, so I didn't play much against them at Kotakan. Actually, I was traveling and playing offline with them in tournaments mm -hmm. in, in Dubai and all of that. So they just hate Kotakan. I think mostly because of Aziz, he was picking Kotakan for them. <laughs> this is Good job, Aziz. Good job, buddy. And NMK11, not because of Neo as well. It's because of Han Zombies and Aziz as well. Okay, okay. Uh, so I have to give them because it's... Good job, guys. Carrying the Ostech banner worldwide. Yeah. I thank you. On behalf of the Kotal Legions everywhere, we yeah. thank you for your service. So, Crazy yeah, stuff. I was picking Kodaka and Devora back in MKX. Mm -hmm. Best mids in the game they have. Now, worst mids in the game. <laughs> what's, That's... what's... Yeah, they were... When you went into Evo... I was just like, he really came in here with like two of the most bullying mid-string characters. Yeah, they, uh, they considered uh, Kodakan a mid-tier. Mid -tier. Yes. Dude, he was brain dead in the first like half of the game. War God was brain dead. You just did back one, two, two, and did the rest for you. You could take the 50 a... off it if you wanted to. You could save if you wanted to. You could go to plus range. Yeah, we have a sub, I think. Two subs, I think. Ooh, a couple of subs. Ooh. Let's go. So, I know I say this a lot, but I... I wish I could tell you how serious this is. Like, I literally can't do this without you guys. So thank you guys. The it's, community is more important if, than the players. <laughs> thank you guys so much, because if, if, if you guys weren't so supportive in subscribing to the Twitch, um, I'd have to I'd have to go get a, a regular job, spend all, spend all my time there, and I would yeah. not have the time I to do something as crazy. I command the man. Yeah. Seconds, so thank you. One of the best commentators in the world, definitely. Top three, guaranteed. Oh. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Technic. Yeah, don't... <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth, bro. I don't like to say bullshit. Only the truth. <laughs> well, Tech Master. Okay, uh, what is this? Is this Wasim versus Face of Combat? Let's go! Guys, in the chat! If you are Winners rooting for Wasim, finals. say it. You're rooting for Face Tell us who are you rooting for. Oh, I know it. Who do you think will win? Gifted sub from Aziz to Dexter uh, right. Omi. Yeah. 
Omni, Wait, prediction. 14. Let's see an update. <laughs> Nothing update live. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So far, with Steam, get those votes in, guys. Get those votes in. I want to see this thing update live. Go crazy. Winners, finals, guys. Faisal Combat versus Wasim. Cetrian versus Liu Kang, the matchup that you guys all wanted to see. Let's do it. People are like Which stage? Player. Yeah. Okay, then let's see which uh, variation did it. Uh, it picked up. I didn't see. Wasim, Liu Kang. I'm scared. Someone hold me. Winners, finals time. The Coliseum Global Middle yep. East. These two, some of the best players on planet Earth. Tekken Masters yeah. and the test. Wasim, back throw. Let's go. Nice. Skiffed. Skiffed from the beginning against Liu Kang, you know. That's where he that just wants the rest to be. of the height terrifying. Yeah, it's very easy. Faisal is not looking. He's playing scared, I think. Ooh. Oh, he wants to punish. Why would you try to punish from just this? To risk him. And where that? Where that? Okay. Faisal with the pressure. He wanted to shimmy him. Come on, one tornado. Very. Yeah, Liu Kang uh, find a very hard time dealing with a tornado. Down four tornado and on one tornado is just even when he does like four four three, you can just do down four tornado and just That was a wild raw flying kick right there and they're paying off huge for who's now like Okay this oh my god yes. one one Oh that was that was such good back and forth like these two know each other really well and I think that that's why you saw them bet so freaking big, yep. both of them. Faisal with... combat? Mm. Yeah. This, uh, not again, Wasim, not again. He will not rob me this time. I will win. Yes, I'm sending it. Really good message. Or, uh... Another one. Just perfectly executed from Wasim. Yeah. Almost in a, just in a disgusting way. The fact that he's getting these consistently. Oh, yeah, so, so uh, as Citrion, you have to cancel the ground pound. You want to stay safe because you can just do flying kick, close over the, uh, the ground pound. Mm. Okay. So you monster. can't imagine the these guys have loved those two characters too much <laughs> against each other. Like Wasim loved Citrion for like infinite, and even Faisal because they play each other a lot. And uh, usually, sometimes we see Joker from Wasim. Oh no! Oh no, that was a reaction? No, I don't think so. I don't think it was a reaction. It was a joke. Because, uh, you, can't, you can't react to beam. You react to beam? Uh, I don't know if you can. And even if we you can, the armor won't, won't ca come out on time. The armor, you know? Yeah, I feel like that was a reaction. Yeah. Anyways, come around. Always comes down to the wire between them. And uh, I think even this round comes down to the wire as well. Just like always. Always, oh, what the we find from Wasim? Wasim, stop it! It's absolutely stop it! What are these reactions right now? Oh, he wants oh, to punish the, the beam, yeah. yeah. Wasim, I think he's trying to condition Faisal. Uh, he wanna punish everything, see? He did it on one. For the teleport, but... Oh! Oh! oh. He the does does he away. have the crushing now? What? Yeah, the throw uh, crushing, I think he has it still. Oh! He didn't, why didn't you block then broke your Wasim? Maru, the, 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 no way. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, right there. I told you to look combo down to the wire. One touch from each. Okay. Okay. Then will you see a report or will we see? Oh, Faisal. No. oh Faisal again. again. That was so close. Faisal down to so the deep. wire every time. But Wasim, at the end, he becomes smarter. And having more patience. He wasn't it's... patient enough, yes, sir. This is his mistake. This is not like this is a mistake. Nice, Wasim. Wasim is playing really good in this matchup, by the way. He's really playing yeah, well. Those... Wow, I'm impressed. He's playing way better than before. Those interruptions with flying kick and and all, the same exact thing with projectile too. He's just gotten a he's just got a good rhythm going of shutting down uh Faisal's jump. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, Wasim is saying, I guess everything. nobody blocked Fatal Blow here. Yes, Middle East. <laughs> Something very well known in the Middle East here, Akon, we don't know. Uh, if, if like at the end scenario, don't try to throw your opponent here. 
because he will not block. Don't you throw at that. We don't like to block here. This is all the very time, well known. All the time yes. that, we, that we talked about, maybe you should block. It's, it's all a lie, guys. Just yeah. swing. Yeah, only Wasim. Wasim is different from us, to be honest. He's just yeah, he different. Yeah, he's built different. What a, what a dick. What a dick. Wasim. What a dick. <laughs> Ella. Okay. Uh, it almost gave it him. Faisal needs to change the way he plays a little bit. Uh, he plays. He's playing uh, way more aggressive than it should be. He should Ooh, just throw the pace of the game. And instead, oh my god, that's why I told you guys don't commit on wake up, don't do strings, just 1 1, just uh, continue the string, just do down 1, down 4. You know, lamps out, but. Yeah, that was one of oh, my biggest things. Oh, he wants things to play kick! Oh, what's going on? Don't do? Oh, okay. Oh, Faisal, what are you doing, Faisal? Mm. No patience. Patience from Faisal. Round two. Aziz fights. here in the chat gifting a lot of subs. Thank you. Man. Yeah, thank you so much, Aziz. Okay. Quick throw. I wanted to get a uh, skip it. Down forward, yes. Oh! He could have punished this. Because if he was lost, Again, dude, that's that reaction. Everything was seen. Was seen. Yes, was seen. Stop it. You're playing online yes, and you're reacting to everything. This is the online Mortal Kombat makeup. Okay, that was. This is the unnecessary risk from was seen. Get la barra. Oh, from here. Okay, okay. Unnecessary risks from was seen. Take it. Given, give, given those two right there, do you feel like they've all just been wild ones versus reactions? <laughs> is he, is he just doing it? No, no, no. Wasim is react, the reaction. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Wasim, no. come in the chat. Wasim, explain yourself. Only he did only three oh things right there. Oh my god! Tech master. He did yeah. only three things. Yeah. He told he us that nobody blocks here. He did and flying kick on block. Oh my god! Kick on block. He always does it with a better blow. He likes to throw random better blow. With only with I only Liu Kang because it's too fast. You know, it has a lot of range. And I respect this choice. You are up one round. Why not? Fasil, Faisal, Fasil, Fasil. Jai by Gul Fasil. He just did two flying kicks on block, and then he did okay. fatal. Gift. Oh my god. Fasil. <laughs> or see. <laughs> what the he said, he said, he said, hold up. Flying kick is blockable, but I know. I know because I said it in chat what's unblockable. Fatal blow. Fasil is chilling in the chat. Thanks to uh, Aziz for the, for the gifted sub. And he so is playing in a set. What is this? Sub zero from Faisal. He's gonna risk all his life here. But still, he has losers. Faisal even he loses. Wow, Wasim. He, he said, impressed he me. Said, but, bro, oh, Wasim. Man. Wasim. Wasim, you aren't yeah. supposed to, like, show that that you're a little worried about the sub zero because now now you're just telling Faisal to, to get a little crazy. I expect all out aggression. I want to see 50 50s. I want to see degenerate sub zero play. That's what I'm talking about. Start off the round with a 4 2. He wanted to get going. Wasim all over with a good slight path locked up. Okay. Oh, he brought the damage too. Mm, or didn't work out. Tekken, no problem, no problem. Oh. Micro duck, yeah, micro duck. This micro duck. But like I, I, I told you guys, micro ducks against Liu Kang is not really real. With punishing sub zero. Yeah. Ooh, we put air right there. Mm -hmm. What I got? This is not it. Ah, oh, professor, professor. Wait to this. He's going more. There's no way. Oh There's no! Every time, professor. Every time you fight with him, this happens every time. You were telling what us that it's, it's constant is robbery. Is he alive? No! Oh my <laughs> god, bro. Oh my god. If I was the Faisal, I would quit. I, I would just quit. Start <laughs> quit. Because <laughs> oh you will not... What? Was him uh, typed in between rounds? Man, I love 1, 2, 3. <laughs> He's man, 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 do I Was love him! My man. Let's not count Faisal combat outs. 
Whoa, what the way punish. Wow, that was really good from Chris. It's really good. Fair one too. He, he, he just over it. No break from. Safe and no! Oh, down to doom! That should be it. Uh, uh. Alright, Basil, staying alive. That's what we like to see here. Yes, yes, yes. We don't want this to be a. Play. It's not over until it's over. Yes. I believe. And also, he doesn't have his status. Nice. He read the breaker. Uh, unnecessary risk from Faisal. He has the creeping eyes. Life lead. Oh my god, bro. Your life is on the line. Why would you risk? Damage. 50-50. This is one, two, three. One, two, three. Another one. Oh, he's gonna waste. Oh, what? Oh, is this open? Maybe it's open. I, I assume that's. Oh my goodness, there's no way. I, I don't. What's the robbery? Oh, I assume he's gonna open. He's gonna open. Oh. Oh. It's you know. I feel like he had that coming. Jen! Jen, Faisal! Sub-Zero wins. He missed when he never could find the chat. Okay, what's him? Will you pull out your secret weapon, Joker, that we haven't seen until now? I want to see some Joker action, but... Ooh, maybe. Did Joker you notice... is not really good against Sub-Zero. Did you notice that on that final knockdown, Wasim had been doing Wake Up 1, 2, 3? And I think that he tried to bait Faisal into trying to meet him because he did a roll back. I think, yeah. I think, I think into buttons, which I, I, I think he was just gonna bet on him trying to shut down the wake up one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Right. Make it some reach. Okay, so, so what's him saying? It's time. Is it time? Who? Oh, it's time. Is it time? Who's that? For the Lin Kuei or something oh, oh. like that. Was oh. he picked the first variation? Was he? What the hell? He picked the first variation. The the, the shoulder variation. Shoulder, the shoulder and the X. Oh, it's... Screw it. Oh, shoulder is not good. No, you need a slide. Nah, man. No way. Nah, you're right. Oh my God. So I see him is throwing. Yes, he has the shoulder. He's sending a message. I see him. Are you are you okay? Are you okay? At least he'll have a little bit. <laughs> What does shoulder do? Is it is it more damage or, or damage at least? Uh, oh my, what oh what my the god! What oh my god! 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 <laughs> what the hell? Yes. Oh, what the hell? Optimal. I could have killed him. Yes. No, it's just falling. No way. No way. Razor, focus, bro. Take advantage of oh, what's he trolling. Don't troll right yourself, now. bro. Take it seriously. There we go. 50 50. Don't be serious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he even Okay. It's 50. Oh, he oh again. Welcome. He committed on wake up. What was that? <laughs> what, what, what the hell was that, bro? Guys, what, what, what are you what, doing? What was that? Oh, That's it. <laughs> He's still at the combo. Sub Zero might be the greatest character. Yeah, yeah, you have all the time to go to still combo. You can't see that. Yeah. You can't see that. You can yawn. You can do whatever. That was uh, Faisal. Faisal's mic. Okay. Probably, he, he's probably hearing our commentary where it's only laughing. Damage. <laughs> Let's go, Faisal. This got that. Back tech can hold on a second. Shouldn't be playing with your food out here. Hold on. That was a big commitment. Still not punished. I forgot he had creep nice the whole time. Oh, 
throw there. Tekken has to do two. Wait, is it Mercy? Is it Mercy? <laughs> not today. <laughs> uh, not today, bro. He's just throwing it over his head. Maybe I'm like missing him, but he's gonna. We had fun, but we can't be branded shit. Wasim, play serious, bro. Wasim Pick. says I says I can't be brain dead. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, going. All right, so game five. Uh, guys, loser, loser is getting finals? exposed. Don't, we, we don't have fun here. We have. We only expose players. <laughs> Play serious. Wasim, just just put the pad down. After that. Sub Zero. Yeah, yeah, get us. Wait. Not that Ooh. one. Don't, no, don't, 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 don't pick this variation. Don't what the hell? That one. What's In here? the name of all that is said. <laughs> is that Gauntlet and Step Back? Put that in the trash. You see, guys, Middle East is fun. Says what's we'll he? Infinity Warden. There we go. Infinity Inf Warden. Infinite. Infinite <laughs> damage, more like. Infinite damage, Tekken Master. Get ready for some big stuff. <clears throat> we got, we got disarted in chat from another region on the planet, saying inspirational, really. And there's. The Coliseum oh, yeah. on fire, these two have given yeah. us such an entertaining yeah. experience. Yeah. Serious now? Uh, Wasim likes to pay defensive with uh, Gilas, knocks you down, then tries to pressure you. No, not really, he tries to do. Then back the slide. Nice! Oh, what did he convert? Oh, will he break away or? Okay. Or eat break all away. of his damage. Oh. Patience. <laughs> Yes. Oh, they always try to fly. Always go jump in. They are programmed. They are programmed. They want an answer for us. I, I like the way Wasim deals with. Uh, yeah, that was gorgeous. Most time for me when I make that. Read, okay. I the the answer anyway. What a controlling, dominating round for Wasim there. The winner of this will go straight to the final. On our side. Okay, I wanted to be safe here. But unfortunately, he got hit. Oh! Oh, that's not even a costume, but just the default infinite world. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna go out of the screen. <laughs> John. Oh, again! Again! Wow. Micro so Dex! Uh, no, Fiesel is refusing to hold back. Next time. Ah! Yeah, there's not not enough uh, plus frames on, on the creeping guys. So, I wanted to do another for two, but dropped his mark. Look a big risk there. He's gonna pay the iron yeah, price okay. for it. He's only one hit. Yes, oh, 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 I think Ooh, he wanted to close block. I think wow. I never saw what seems close block in jump. It doesn't close block jump. Final round now, Tekken Master. We got ourselves a sweaty little situation at him. Oh, what was that from? Was that was seen finally following apart? Maybe, maybe back. Oh, that cost him 400. He tried to jump out of the corner. Whoa! Ah! This is. An optical scammer. An optical scammer. I was seeing the curse. That's gonna be it. Faisal brought that back into a flawless. Victory uh, and top with your head. Holy crap. Sub-Zero. Okay. Got reverse 3-0. Maybe you can blame himself for picking Sub-Zero. Oh my god, come back, come back. <laughs> what a what a winner's finals. What a winner's finals. That that sub-zero mirror may have been one. So thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. That was incredible. Yeah. That was too good. But not the mirror of Sub-Zero. <laughs> Tekken Master, as it, as it turns out, we're here, to, we're here mostly to just have a good time. And I like that the Middle East guys are here having a good time. Show, we, showcasing oh, what they're all about. Wasim should have went to Chow. Ooh. 
we've seen what that can do in, in, in a game five situation. So right now, we're gonna take our second break of the stream, guys. Then we're gonna jump in with loser semi. That'll be Hunt versus Reaper. And the winner of that will face the scene in the Losers Finals. That's going to be coming up next. Before I do that, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors here for the Coliseum, our big one, Hitbox. Thank you guys so much for coming on and supporting the Coliseum. Um, global, reaching so many players, viewers, and Mortal Kombat community members around the world. Thank you so much to them. If you guys want to level up your execution, check out Hitbox at hitboxarcade.com slash Coliseum. I'll put it in the chat as well. Uh, they do ship worldwide. It's a very, very precise mixture of pad and stick and actually a little bit of keyboard, a little bit of everything, where your inputs become single inputs with your left hand. It's a beautiful thing. Quarter circle is just that right there. That's a quarter circle. That's simple to do. Wave dash is just this button right here and this button, and you just go button, 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 forward, forward. <laughs> That's it right yeah. there. Forward, forward, block, forward, block. Learn it, guys. Mm. You will enjoy playing with headbox, but uh, you need uh, some time. Once you execute it right, you will feel the difference. The block is weird, of course, for Mortal Kombat, but but I, I know that everyone... Like, a lot of people are like, hitbox first drive is, is money, but thank you to them for that. I also want to give a quick shout-out to the Cartesian Project as well. Um, it is a indie game that is actually on Steam available uh, to be added to your wishlist coming out in 2022. I believe it's scheduled for Q1 or Q2 of 2022. Fast-paced obstacle clearing game that's multiplayer. It looks really cool. Check that out. Link is in the chat. And we're going to go to a, a break real quick and we'll be right back guys with the closing out you guys. of this tournament and top four. Tekken Masters here. Tekken Master, we'll be right back in five minutes. Don't go anywhere.
The Coliseum Studios is presented by Hitbox. Take control at hitboxarcade.com slash coliseum. And if you like what you've been hearing, it's our own official soundtrack. Purchase or listen today at coliseum.gg. Welcome back to the Coliseum, everyone. This is our week. We're in Middle East right now, but on Tuesday, we're picking up with Latin America South, and we have Latin America North. Closing out the week with Brazil, baby. I'm going to have top set day games on with me. I'm going to have another guest commentator. Fingers crossed for Brazil. I'm really excited about it. And it's going to be incredible. I think the most entrants that in global are in these three regions right here, which is incredible. So thank you so much to the Latin American community for showing up here for global. They've been asking me since day one of Combat Cup to do something for them. I always feel so bad. What? We want to let you guys know that Tekken Break, or sorry, it's Tekken Break. Tekken Master need a, need a little bit of a break. He had, he, he had to go do something really quick, so we're going to lose Tekken Master for a few, hopefully not too long. And we're going to be bringing you into loser semis. But that, no, there's more going on than just the Coliseum Global. Let's take a look at some other events that are going on in the community. You got June 30th and June 9th, Champion of the, Champions of the Realms, Destroyer, Caboose, Mortal Kombat X, Final Qualifier on the 30th. Check out the finale on the night. We've also got ECT doing Mortal Kombat 11, a bunch of other games as well. Mortal Kombat 11, that in its multiple weeks of it, next week is going to be July 6th, $500 prize pool to top three for the ECT community throwdown. We've also got um, the boys over there at Outworld Television, Outworld TV. Um, they're starting Injustice Television, which is being introduced on Wednesdays. And that's at twitch.tv slash Outworld Television. And they have Monday, I want to say Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. There we go. Or Sunday right now. But that's going to change next week to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday through Thursday, every single evening, twitch.tv slash Outworld Television. We are going to add in these specific um, times for these events. The guys know exactly when that's going down. They've been doing some amazing stuff over there. Just waiting to get Reapers in here, waiting to get someone else. And while we do that, let's take a look at that racket, baby. Hunt, I'm tossing you another one. Be on the lookout for it. There is your bracket right there. Faisal winning that game five sweater of a match with Wasim. And I'm getting a flawless victory in the end as well. Talk about craziness. Putting on a wonderful, wonderful show for us. Thank you guys so much. And here, loser semis hunt versus reaper hunt, surviving a close one with Yasser. The first round of the losers top eight. And we've got Reaper off the win against Mr. Black, and he was just with that Fujin was able to shut down everything Mr. Black was implementing versus Sonki in the match prior. Super aggressive buttons. The flawless blockable gaps. He was all over it. It was a beautiful thing to watch. We'll see what Reaper has been on a tear with that Kotalcon, with that Cabal, all over the place. Hunt, let me know if that invite is working. Got hunt right here. Fingers crossed. And a shout out to everyone from this region that signed up for this. We had 21 competitors here today. It's not just everyone here in this top eight, you know. Everyone that signed up, guys. VXN, Tekken Legend, Majin Pac down here, Kaiba. I mean, even even everyone that DQ'd, the fact that you signed up for this, I, I know that we had to change dates at, at the last second. All of us kind of forgot about ESL. Well, ooh! Excuse me, we got ourselves through this quarter. So let, me, let, let me get these flags straight, and we'll get into this action. Con, but a surprising pick from Reaper here going with sub zero. Very interesting. It can definitely be weird with Fujin, you know. Kotal's got these big old buttons. 
has a lot of big actor frames that, you know, especially when Hunt plays him, I, I, I feel like it could be a problem. When he puts out um, down forward two, especially when that totem's loaded, he can do a lot of damage. He could be doing a lot of stuff here. It's just starting off the farm. I get more damage. Give me the juice. Give me your Hawaiian punch. And now he's at level three. Don't get hit from here on out. And I like that Hunt tried to get away with the Jaguar there on, uh, while that totem was slightly active because that Jaguar didn't hit any damage. Just, just, just disgusting stuff, really. Hopefully this is right. I believe it's Bahrain for Reaper and Kuwait for Hunt. Let me know if I got that right in the chat. And the what? Command. Save 18%. Do not pass go. Do not collect your dollars. Praise the sun. Hunt is doing some nasty stuff with Goldcon, by the way. And I'm rarely impressed by a Goldcon player. I know how that sounds. But you heard what I said. It's the lights out. Four hit advantage. You're so scared there. That is so plus that Kolokan can actually jail crazy shit. Like, down four can jail, I think, a back two. Get four, four, two. All the big stuff. So that's a really good time when you're respecting the hit advantage. To, that's just death. <gasps> Drop that down two. Never say never. Oh, you're gonna face the sun. And with one hit, from... takes away everything on the screen, guys. It is the only thing that in a crushing blow that will save you from God Rain. That may be praying to the Elder Gods. But I don't think so. Oh, GG's. GG's. There's no better feeling on planet Earth than having a lot of health as Kotal Khan. Your opponent only having 1%, and you put up a God Rain. I can't think of a better feeling in fighting games. In fighting game history, I... Good thing. Excellent start here for Hunt. Hmm. I'm trying to think of some things that Reaper could possibly do differently. He's going to believe in the Sub Zero pick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, see, are you talking about Kotalin's chat right now? Man, you better come. <laughs> Alright, calm down. Here we go. Game number two. Hunt looks really comfortable so far. And this is one of the most unhinging characters to fight in Sub Zero. Also love this the color palette that he brought with Kolo here today. The blue and gold. Matching the totems. Oof. Not like this. So he's, no, he's at level three. He's at level three, ladies and gentlemen. You, this is where you panic. Even those two hits did 150. Uh, one, two did 154 damage. This is everything you want. Totems are gone. Your turn. Let's play some MK. He thought that Kolo was going to win. Keyword there being thought. Level three. And the God Ray. If he would have committed that, he was dead. That actually would have killed him. Guaranteed. It's really hard to get the guaranteed get down for two off the 51 string, but I believe this dude is even ready for the break. Wait, this down one! Why are these gimmicks? I say gimmicks, but it's safe on block if you have. So. Not really the craziest gimmick, but he is relentless. He uses that so scarcely too. I've noticed. So he'll say that for a moment where he feels like it it's for the win, but he, he doesn't use it early in rounds or to do his thing and then get a little bit nutty. And again by nutty, so but just trying to do something different to get your opponent to press a button when you want them to. But that is a gorgeous counter. Back to the corner. Three side switches, unbreakable. That's also something that this variation of Total Con gives you. 
with that con cut, you could have been screwed right there. If you had defensive bar, they can just break away and then you gotta work. But not on this one. No big deal. He's way dashed a lot into into Grand 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 Grand, and he's never ever done it. I actually really like that about Hunt. He's gonna praise the sun here. Instead, he's gonna forward two because Reaper thought that he was gonna throw the God Ray right there. So he woke up Fatal Blow, and it would have hit him and saved him from that God Ray. And that was just one more reason as as to, as to why Hunt's playing or like winning this match is every right read. There is a very cool con thing to do. Assume that someone is going to think that you are going to god and then you just swing. And that works on almost everyone. Beautifully done there. Two zero. Hunt is on the verge of cracking top three of this Middle East bracket with Kolo Khan. I'm praising the sun all day long. Aziz, I know you're praising the sun. Tekken Master, wherever he is, he's praising the sun. Tekken Master's Hollywood, guys. I can't... He's like, be right back. I gotta, I gotta eat real quick. And I'm like, I got you. I understand. He's a hungry dude. That's why he's so good at Mortal Kombat. He's always hungry. Gives me more time to sit back, enjoy the soundtrack, enjoy you guys. You guys like to purchase the soundtrack? Coliseum.gg slash store. All the music that you guys are hearing throughout the broadcast. You can purchase for $10. And I didn't mention this earlier, but you can use it however the f you want. Use it on your stream. I don't care. It's royalty free. It's not going to get you a DMCA. That was an armor breaking command grab. Have a nice day. But go purchase it. It's only $10. Gives you a ton of music to play on your stream. Workout music. I, a lot of people use it for the workout music. Go so check it out. It supports the artists that make it, which are Mortal Kombat players from the world. It supports the event. Win, 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 honestly. $10. I waste $10 every time I go to Panda Express. You tell me I can get... <laughs> you tell me you can't get an album? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Reaper, is he finally starting to come alive here? He's missed flawless block by Hunt and... Command grab. Look at these totems. Damage group buffs. 252. Oh, the totems you with that quick. But you only have the single command grab buff right now, so it's like go to versus the 18. 50 50 time. It was either going to be a mid there or a throw, I feel like. It's going to be dashed up. Oh, he's going to run. Break that tug. The tricky matchup too, Liu Kang's low projectile controls the pace of the match against Cole's gone really well. But right, right there, it stops him from making the approach. So now he's got totems up, he could be looking for a wire wreck. Ooh, and one of them would have worked there in that situation. But Liu Kang can make that read as well. And these two, knowing knowing the region that they're from, already what I've seen here today, I know that they're at layer of, of I know what they can do, and I know what I can do. Let's mix. Get the command grab. Oh, get over there. Level three? No, he may have gotten level three right. Let him. Oh, that was a little too close for that one. The movement forward by Reaper actually got him into the punch. Where's Texas? I have no idea. <laughs> he's he's uh, eating dinner. I have no idea. Listen, guys. I'm not going to stop Tekken Master from eating. All right? I know better. Chip territory. Project out. No. Tries to go from the back. What did he go? Dash up regular throw. What a bad name. That Jaguar... Final almost round. should have worked. Fight. It almost should have worked. I feel like he was he was recovering from. <laughs> Welcome back, Tekken Master, to the show where we've got some more Kolo Khan action. Thank you, man. How did you know? <laughs> I've got my sources. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This has so... been a crazy set. It's been all hunt so far. Yeah, I've been watching it from my TV. <laughs> About five Can straight I... rounds. Yeah. Sorry guys. How was it? Was it good? 
Put your put your. Let us go. Beef shawarma. You <laughs> son of a bitch. That sounds so good. <laughs> yeah, it is, huh? Anyways. I'm gonna grill some chicken after this. On, on the grill? Yeah. No. <laughs> on zombies. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he's just, he's just running away with, with this. He even got him on the counter poke. Is he yeah. going to mercy? Hey, Is he going to mercy? No, and no, he no way. On uh, zombies, he I doesn't mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the cap root over. Dang, GG's hunt. Game over. He's playing really well right now, Tekken Master. He just yeah. made it in the top three of this event, and he is going to be running into Wasim next. Don't go anywhere, by the way, hunt. You can just stay in the in the, in the King of the Hill. Yeah. Uh, I was watching from my TV, and I think uh, your sound, is, we cannot hear it very well, Lakona. Can I be turned up a little bit? It. More, more than the music, a little bit. I think the music is turned down, and okay. uh, and uh, a comment's okay. voice more. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can, I can fix it. Ready for this? Well, I can, I can maybe bump it up a little bit. Guys, can, can you hear a comment very well? All right, how about and now? If, if, yes, it, it's better, way better. <laughs> What's that? I can come in hot. <laughs> yeah. I, if I turn this knob yeah. all the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy everyone. No, no, don't. Anyways, so on the grand final, already we have uh, Faisal on winner's fight, winner's side, and uh, yes, uh, our, the losers final now is Wasim versus on Zombies. Another interesting match that we haven't seen throughout this tournament. Like um, Wasim didn't fight on zombies from long time. The last time they did pro competition, one of the weeks, and Wasim always coming out on top, I think. So we shall see. Joker, finally oh. Joker pick from Wasim. <laughs> is it is, is it gonna be the Joker pick? You think? It should be, but Wasim is playing casually. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, he is looking kind of wild when someone's pick. It's back. Blue can. Okay. Looking it's better even against what they can't We shall see. There's the matchup that we just saw Hunt do perform really well in, but what seems is probably coming into this like, man, I'm a different monster, so I got this. The reactions have been yeah. incredible. And if you have really good reactions as a Liu Kang player against Kotal Khan, it can it can be really tough. You know, I, I I've I've gotten to fight Ninja Killer and just the fact that he could react everything to even yeah. get near him. <laughs> yeah, it's tough fighting uh, Ninja Killer with the Kota Khan. He's gonna flow his book at home too. <laughs> Every time. A yeah. very online? rare normal. And, and it was online? Yeah. Yep. Oh Every my time. god. Offline it would be even worse. Look at this damage. 356. Oh, someone is coming to get a very thing. Yeah, we were just talking about it, but he he really wanted to take him out of that round that quick. I feel like pure aggression. Whoa, the disc actually did something. I'm a little shocked. <laughs> Guys, we can see here um, on zombies. Oh, that was a punish. GGs. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, it's still unblockable. It's still unblockable. Tekken. Tekken. Yeah, it's still unblockable. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody blocked it until now. But anyways, now Sunray is guaranteed now, but he, he can zone. So he has to look out for the uh, flying kick KB right now it, to put up God, right? Yes. Yes, yes. I don't think Hanzo will do it. Yeah. Man! Safe, but then, but that's... Mm. At least even if Wasim will lose this, he still have skipped it. Oh, oh, oh. He won it. Wow, Wasim believed and... This is what I would like to see. He wastes everything to get this one round. Jack Flyer is really scary against characters that have nine, mul nine frame mids, but especially multiple nine frame mids. Because post Jack Flyer, throw becomes really hard to deal with when you're yes. respecting forward four, etc. Now it's minus seven, but <clears throat> still you get mixed. You get jailed by sending one or, or grab mm -hmm. or that mid. Just... In this game, you don't want to be in these situations, you know? Where you yeah, just you don't to... it. no, It's not great. <laughs> okay. Look at that team. damage. Yeah, his his because uh, it comes down three just to occupy. He needs it. He needs it. Yes. 
It, it, even though profile is his back one. Ooh, hold on a second. Can he do it again? Hold Come on back. a second. Oh, he wanted to crush blow him. Magic. With the throw. What's him? Don't do it. Again. Oh, he oh what is the fight? One more. Oh, what the hell? What's he? He's still alive. Oh my Wakes god. It out and that, that should be shit. Mm, oh my, so smart. Why didn't he do the flying kick or even amplify the fly, uh, the bicycle kick? Wazim. He's on drugs now. He said, he said he's on drugs now? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what? Not, what amplifying, it, not, not doing flying kick? Don't know. That's weird. This is not the way. Wazim, I know, but he won the game. Wazim, what did you smoke before playing today? <laughs> that's what, that's what I want to know. He doesn't smoke. I think you maybe on this issue. It was up 1 0. It wasn't pretty, though. It wasn't pretty whatsoever. Yeah. But on zombies, he has to kill himself now. Two rounds. What's he came back out of? I don't know. On zombies, did nothing wrong with it. Just played really well, but. He got Luke hanged hard. Mm -hmm. That he most certainly did. And early on, that one big risk, right? Where he had, he just hit him for 360, and then he went up and did a very Kotokan like thing. Immediately wanted to command grab him. Overcommitted on the down one command grab. And yeah. j just giving Wasim that one opportunity can make or break the entire round. And there we go. Now you're never going to see him throw that projectile ever again. Because that's the only reason to use it. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, he would have committed I, right there. I don't think... Yes, he's still using the command grab, cat, and the totem. The costume uh, neutral jumps. Oh, jump. if you would have lost it! We're seeing a lot of neutral jumps from the Middle East community, realized. Yeah, a lot of them. Throw. Reading a throw, yes. Maybe it, sometimes it's better than ducking. I'm shocked that he didn't OS the jump kick in the quarter circle four too as well. Yeah, right there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly yeah. getting it as we progress and taking him around with it. OS that made the Cabal top tier. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, even Shang Tsung uh, characters are really benefited. Can we add some re recovery to Liu Kang's projectiles? No? Okay. I tried. Mm, I think we need to. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Liu Kang as much as you, but I think the only issue is, is they throw KB, you know? We just remove, throw KB and DP. <laughs> He, trying becomes, to make a big boy he basically right there. becomes the best in the game just uh, the moment he has the crushing blow loaded. He has the throw KB? Yeah. Yes. He's the best in the game immediately. Patience. Yeah, Hunt is a very, w one of the most patient Kotal Khans I've ever seen. Yes, 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 he is. Even Wasim as well. But, so it's interesting to see them battle against each other. Ooh. Keep him permission. Wants that throw KB. Might need it for the comeback and not today. Hunt is on the I board. Think he could have killed him if he shorts up. No. Yeah. I don't think so. I mean, because I can't has 1050 life. He needs it. You think he needed his uh, 1100 life bar? Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, 1100 is too much in my opinion for Kotick. It's broke. It is broke. It is broke. But 2050, he's good now. Peak, peak bullet Kotal Khan was one of the funnest things I've ever played, where you just had more health than... Yeah. And did all of the damage. Yeah. That's true. Okay, so... 1-1 one, one now on Zombies. He could have won even the previous game against uh, Wasim, but unfortunately... Wasim really played well. Like I, I know Wasim. Whenever it's like down to the clutch, he always takes it. Even we saw that against Facer Combat. It was going down to the wire, but he always ends up taking it against anyone. Okay, so we have the same characters, same variations. Both sides. I think Wasim will try to slow the pace. Now, I'm trying to rush things up, as you can see. 
Hello. Ooh, and they, try to even do there. Against Liu Kang or characters like Scorpion. This can just man. Oh my god. He did it again. But now he doesn't have the throw. I mean the flying kick uh, crushing. So he can do it now. Ooh. Any sort of unnecessary risk? Make it a good read Jaguar there. Oh, hello! Uh, neutral jump to beat the 4 2. But blocked uh, on time. Nice reversal. No KB use. I always like to use it, yeah. I force 4 KB very early in the game. I don't like to save it. Mm. Great control right now from he's, he's He's found a little bit of a rhythm here. Zombies has no problem. Yes, load those totems. Oh yes. my god. One now, hit. He, he, he can kill him. Uh, I, I, no, I don't. I don't think 4 2 4 kill. No. After that, if that Jaguar would have hit, then it would have. Yes. Round 2. Fight. Escape him. You wanna oh, no. take the back throw because it keeps him beside him? No. Take this front throw. So, what will Han Zombies do now? Great. Get it up close. <laughs> Get it. Oh shit! Damage. Yeah, he wasted it very early. Gonna be a pickup here, just because. Ooh, oh, interesting. Was that combo. Nice. Was that? That kept him very away. Well, yeah. Was was that just to send him full screen? I, I think that was intentional. Maybe that was cute. Intentional. We're in the bracket. Could be better. Daedalus, this is um, losers finals. Oh my final. god! Yeah. What a conversion! Yeah, I converted out of the second uh, hit from the standing 3 4 as an anti air. And zombies needs to stop doing the sun ray because it's, it's used I, the side. And the, you know, a lot of these Jaguars as well, because it's, it's just make it's forcing him to guess every single time. He has not been able to make have a correct read on what. Yeah, I think he, he should uh, not use the cat at all, even just not equip it. Because yeah. it's uh, against Liu Kang, you know, get mixed to uh, throw. So, you yeah. know, be in this situation there. Because so he takes it 2 1. Trying to go with the combo. Nice. I think and, that he uh, definitely should go for the disc, because that's, that's that's been one of the problematic disc, things. Uh, that you have he's... To pick it. Oh my god, he didn't pick the disc against Liu Kang. He is trying to. Always, you, need, you need to pick disc. And uh, the command grab and the launcher. The launcher. What he's trying to do is get, you know, he he keeps trying to make a read on when Wasim's not going to block. That's what it looks like he's doing with those jaguars. He's just he, he's just trying to feel for when he's going to either get aggressive or move or let go of block. Yeah, just the only, the the only like, none of them have worked. Yeah, the only reason I use the cat is because of his down four mix up, down three mix up. Mm -hmm. You can't just throw the cat after down three, down four. I'm so, an animal. I use it for the back two, two mix up. That's because I'm a savage. Yeah, but well, you can't do the EX disc. But th yeah, that one has no. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Jaguar is the only one that takes back two, two. Which I'm shocked we're not seeing more of from Hunt. Lost Characters that are strong up close, you need the EX disc. Like, mm -hmm. for example, against Jackie, against Liu Kang, against. Uh, In the beauty Kano. of it? Is that after the disc is blocked, Tekken? Like I feel like Kotal Khan is in the perfect spot to be, to just sit there, and yes. if you want to, if you want to get aggressive with like a forward one, it's yes. not, you're gonna beat everything that they do besides like a down. Yeah, except the three on support. <laughs> yeah, that's go, man. <laughs> yeah, on, yeah so that's it's why true. it's not even a good option to pick a uh, against the three on because you can. You would love for you to do it, because uh, you can control beating uh, with the world one one. Wait, Hunt's just going in right now. Here, that might be the first. Man, zombies. First wave dash command grab I've seen. Usually he wave dashes up in the space and just tries to scare him. Yeah, we always say this about Hunt Zombies. He's savage with the way he plays. His play style is savage, you know? Just not afraid of getting in or, or just throwing. That's what you need to be with Kotal Khan. Praise the sun. Praise the sun, ladies and gentlemen. He was smart here. He put him in the corner. Yep. It was the best thing. <laughs> It you was the only this. thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did he pick the disc or not? Nope. Jaguar. See right there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. This is yes. what we are talking about. 
right there, he if, if he would have just done like four two, he would have been all right. Or just maybe wait a little bit more. Uh, Never mind. Never mind. That's why he's not okay. doing four two. Oh, he's turning into ninja killer. Oh huh? my god! No. I'm sure they're getting flashbacks from ninja killer. So. Every every time. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm gonna start drinking. Hold on a second. <laughs> Was in. I don't want to to rush anything on a page. But... Ooh, wow! That happened so fast. Okay. He's building those totems. So he can. The scary part here. <laughs> and, um, what and was that? What did it <laughs> is that Kotal Khan's parry is actually kind of useless against Liu Kang. Yeah, it'll absorb a projectile. But, but if you do that and does flying kick. Flying kick doesn't it isn't parryable and it'll actually crush and blow you. Yes, Talk yes. about feels bad man. Yeah. Oh yeah, good armor. It's 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 useless. It's it's really useless. Okay. Yeah, all you had to do was block right there. Super, super smart. From a scene. Maybe he could have tried like a like a short hop forward three fatal blow to like try to get him a block high, but even then, a, a smart person knows to just block well. Oh, that was a micro deck into standing 3 4. I don't like him. Oh my god. I was like, I was about to say, I don't like how he put himself in the. But that was beyond savage. Yeah, this is. Uh, or die for hand zombies. Mm, he just let go of block. And look at this damage! Hunt is back to life with this total, and we. The game was utterly disgusting of a round. Two, two. Pure aggression. Oh. This is good. I would like to see 2-2 two, two, down to the wire. Final game. From zombies. He doesn't want to go out from the tunnel. As much as uh, I would like to see Faisal going against some zombies, <sighs> I still want to see to win. He's my teammate in Nazarene Sport. Oh, wow. yeah, not bias. Bias commentary, by the way. Now the boys. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Tekken, this is this is your show. Okay, I'm. Where's the guys that I put it together? Yeah. Okay. So game five. Oh wait, we should put that. Okay. Okay, it's there. Shots for production. Mm, okay. Yeah. Game five. Here we yes. go. Let's go, Joker. Game. To save things up. This is what you've. This is what you've wanted this whole time too. Uh, you actually, wanted. I think uh, he plays with uh, looking better than Joker. But I want to see some change. You know. I've been, I've been seeing looking something different here. Nice. Start off with a lot of damage. That's the way to start. Kota yeah. will. Kota will yeah. be able to get totems up a lot more yeah. freely in this matchup though, yeah. which is. Uh, that's why maybe you can... Ooh, is it? Is it KB? Why? Why not KB? Okay, wake up. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> if I was with him, I would break it. I would break if I was with him. Oh! And he didn't drop the combo? And he didn't get the oh. That would have been the round. If that 4 2 would have been good. Uh, GG. Okay. Yep, down 2. Wow. That was so scary. That was a. That had to be a frame or two from not punishing. That forward 1 2, when he whiffed the other side with 1 2 1. Yeah. You have to be patient against uh, Joker. If you don't, you will lose very fast. Oh! Whoa! Forward 2 1. Flawless block for him. Second hit. Because you can take the first one and first block the second one. We've been seeing Ninja Killer doing it against Sonic Fox. Grand final for competition. Wait, see now. This one? Likes to put the low projector. Better for him than the other. Can, can Cole Khan oh. reversal Jaguar in perhaps? Probably not instantly if they if they let it go instantly, right? No, no, uh, that's kind of projectile. Well, he can do shit. Yeah. Man. Oh. 
Okay, it seems we are going. Oh, there it is. It. And the god ray is gone. The totems. Okay. Are... Yeah. All that work for. Uh, I think on zombies. Oh, oh, one hit, one hit. What's your aim? Oh. Yeah, you probably probably better off just fatal ball. Ooh, okay. praise the sun! Last game, last round, losers final, owner goes to grand final. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see him versus on zombies. Jesus, this is the night. It was 204. Ah, no, it was 1 1. Yeah. Mm. There's no further mm. here. We're gonna start for Hunt as well. He is, he is loading every. Yeah. I wonder if he should just go for the, the armor break right there. Yeah. Uh, That's the really good for He wanted to good punish the food. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Mm. Nom 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 nom. Alright, totem time. Oh, he's going in. See? What attack. Are you kidding me? That was ridiculous. Yeah. Every, everyone's sweating right now. Oh, he walked away too. He walked away too today. And his tournament life is on the line. He got from. What's up? And he got oh. it again! Wow, oh. the ball's on receive right now. What? Didn't what come this? off it. Did, what, what, why did he hold it? What? I think he, he wants like to save this. it. I think he wants to save it. Oh, Not shimmy. like this. Where's the other shimmy? And he oh, got no. him with the down street Jaguar. Oh no. Tekken oh. Master, why did he not crush and blow that throw? Because, because he wanted to, to still try to pressure oh. him after. Like, okay, so the, the, the next time he uses it, you know? If he did the, man. one, two, three, yeah. the physical, second oh. time, it will hit on zombies, I'm sure. You mm. just grabbed him. Yeah. Do a auto stream next time. Oh my god. Oh. That was Congrats a sweater. Congrats to zombies for... I'm gonna, I'm gonna praise the All sun in the, the way from losers, like he just we played too many <laughs> games, you know, too many sets. Because he lost from Hanzo, uh, from Ooh, Hanzo, early. early and uh, unfortunately for Wasim, this is the end of Ooh. his journey here with us. Yeah. But he played incredibly well. He did. And now he will kill himself for not playing serious. When he was going down against Faisal. Oh. But can I also thank him for that? Because that was so fun to watch. But <laughs> as a competitor, absolutely, you should you should not have done that whatsoever. But as a spectator, it was the time uh, of my life. I will punish him for doing this. I don't like it. I got you. When you guys train next time, you're going to be like, listen, never do that again in your. Yes, of course. I, I never do that, bro. Even in casuals, I don't mercy. Let me update this bracket real quick. There's been a lot of game, a lot of, lot of game fives, a lot of close ones. This has been, this has been fun. But we are down to just one final match, guys. But we are gonna take one last break before grand final. We're gonna give Hunt. Yes, let's him breathe. Let's him breathe, bro. We'll, we'll give us a breather, <laughs> guys. We'll yeah. be back in five minutes, and then grand finals begins for the Coliseum Global Middle East. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, motherfucker. Let's we'll go. Back.
the Coliseum Studios is presented by Hitbox. Take control at hitboxarcade.com slash coliseum. And if you like what you've been hearing, it's our own official soundtrack. Purchase or listen today at coliseum.gg. Welcome back to the Coliseum, everyone. Grand final. We, we thank you guys so much for watching the program here today. This is the Coliseum Global Middle East. Tekken Master Co. commentating with me. Just waiting for him to get back from uh, a little bit of restroom break before we jump into this match. Oh, here he is. And this is going to be next week, guys. Yeah. Latam South, Latam North, and Brazil. Going down next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right here. And we've also got some more events happening throughout the community. Not just here at the Coliseum, but we want to shout out others as well. We've got Outworld Television. Starting on Wednesday over there at Twitch.Outworld Television. And they're live half of the week, always and forever. It's a never-ending program that uh, Hot Rod's built over there, and it's pretty incredible. Then we got Champions of the Realms. Mortal Kombat X series brought to you by Destroyer, Caboose, and CGL. You can check that over at twitch.tv slash Destroyer and Caboose's head. Um, that's going to be June 30th for the final qualifier and the finale. ECT has a $500 Mortal Kombat 11 event happening on July 6th as well for their community throwdown. And you can follow them on Twitter for information on that. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Hitbox. Bring my beautiful face back on here. Huge shout outs to our sponsor here, Hitbox, everyone. Hitbox. Or sorry, hitboxarcade.com slash Coliseum. Check it out. Level up your execution. If it sucks, this thing might help you. I'm not going to guarantee that it'll help you, but it just might. With, with changing your input notations to a single button, it makes it nice and crisp. This thing is sleek. It's sexy. It's comfortable. Hitbox. Check, check them out. It's that simple. Also, to the Cartesian Project, it's an indie-developed game on Steam that's going to be releasing in 2022. I'm going to put their link in the chat. You guys can just add it to your wish list on Steam if you want, it's just to check it out later on. You can click that link as well for all the information and link to add to your wish list. Just check it out. And did I mention that it's being made by Mortal Kombat players? Everything about the Coliseum in some form of another has tried to utilize someone within this space, either doing something within the space or even outside of it, whether it be artists, musicians, um, voice work. You know, you've you've been hearing uh, Rag Dab's voice throughout the entire program as well, um, the musicians, and believe it or not, even in the sponsors. So thank you guys so much. Tekken Master, it's been an awesome tournament so far. We've got one more to go. Yes, most of the sets were 3-2, 3-2. <laughs> yeah. Always uh, went down to the wire, for game five, and... Uh... I cannot wait to see hunt zombies going all the way from loser side against Phaser Combat, who beat was seem to be in this grand final. And uh, and and all, Hunt, yeah. Hunt, Hunt lost his first match, three two against Hamo, and has yeah. run it all the way back since. Oh, also all the sets between Phaser Combat and Hunt Zombies in the past, they all go. Through, and game five, like three, two, three, two, mm. three, two. Incredible. Aziz yes. talking about how he he just noticed that the music is made by NRS players. That is correct. All of the music you guys hear is made by yes our our, our own our own dudes. That's pretty damn cool. Abyss, I realized that we're gonna look at that for the next time. It's I have a feeling that I know what it is. But it's grand finals time. I got the invite out. Faisal has joined us here, Tekken Master. Who do you like in this grand final? This is going to be a good one. Um, this is going to be tough, but uh, I, I think Faisal's combat is really ready for Peter Khan, for Cetrion. But we are not seeing Cetrion now. What We're in the Shiva world? Pick. Shiva has been non zombies worst nightmare. We always pick Shiva for non zombies It was a meme before that we pick Shiva for him because he hates her. Since he uses Kotakan, it's hard yep. for Kota to deal with the, the dragon stance. So 
we just picked her up and it worked against him so we kept keeping her <laughs> picking her up and uh, now even after the nerf we still pick her up against him which hey, she, uh, she, she, it. hey she, she's still pretty cool and real quick guys but fight Macharino. check yeah. out the Macharino. donate to the get this thing a little bit higher for the okay so Faisal started the game with a launcher and get back one armor break but luckily <laughs> okay nice interruption there I'm not sure if Faisal still knows how to play with um, Shiva really well but it's okay you can only do one special oh no, oh, oh, no. my god every oh, time no. every time yes, against every all the single opponents time. he did it okay he has the mix so yes, yes he has the low uh, instead of the direction that he used to have with the stomps now the stomp is completely shit mm. you can just uh, walk back and just avoid the stomp unless you have directions but uh, not, not just that <laughs> the recovery wow. on whiff nice for onto from hand zombies so the recovery on whiff and the stomp is extremely high now like 30 you can just uh, do whatever you want they drink a cup of tea then punish him again Man, what a start here for Han. I really like his aggression towards the end of that match to just in the wake up, toss the forward yes. one, two. Dyer's gonna be disrespectful. Good damage. Oh my goodness. He's just swinging right now, Tekken. He's just swinging. Yep. Oh, <laughs> what was the command grow? He dashed Dang. into the command grow. 72% of the chat thinking that Hunt is gonna take this, Tekken. I mean, this is this is my channel. Of course, people are gonna vote for. That's a little biased. Yeah. Yes. Thank what God. A, a oh, block. he gets it right. Just, just, just do the sun. No, he didn't oh. do the sun. Hey, hey, man, okay. Hey, yeah, I think Fierce had a little bit rusty about with, the, with Shiva. I don't know about the Shiva. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. He's rusty. Yeah, he hasn't been using her since uh, the patch, you know, where they nerfed her. So you just pick her and you will win. No, you have to yeah. just. Put in the work with any character I, you use. I love that he was going for like the mental warfare. Of the, of just pick this character and hope that that's that alone will beat him. That that's that's kind of how I would feel against Tomo as well. Yeah, I, I think he'll total I just will, to piss him off. <laughs> he will stay. He will stick with Shiva. He will see. Oh, love you, Homo, By the way, that's not a blow up. Yeah. <laughs> but I would yeah. love every time I fought him, I, I'll just pick Cordal and and and, and I, I like. I would feel better mentally going in that matchup than I would say against any other character or any other person. Just just because you know that they hate that character. And he's gonna stick out of with course, it. I mean, he, he yeah. does have sometimes, to with. Yeah, yeah, sometimes we go to tournaments, you know. For example, maybe Jade is not a good pick for Kotar Khan. But we do pick her because the player doesn't like playing against Jade. Exactly. So it's not about counter picking, it's only, not only counter picking the character, it's counter picking the player himself. This is really important, you know. Oh, okay. there's One no PM. gap in. Yeah. Nice punish, yes. You can just get away with it. I'm surprised uh, not a lot of Shiva players use this shoulder. Shoulder is the best, better than the stance, running stance, in my opinion. Because it can punish a lot of things. Punish and, a lot of uh, things. It's really, really plus on hit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my Stop it. Stop it. Zombies, man, zombies, the savageness from zombies. Hot like shoulder. <laughs> Got them. Yeah. Sometimes I think in Arabic, so you're not That's okay. I, I get the overall feeling of it just by the energy that you. Perfectly fine. I, I've actually commentated with someone who didn't speak English, and it was, per it was perfectly fine. Yeah. Okay, so one take from zombies. He will not book. Faisal. Faisal Max! Yeah, I hate Oh, that's it. Oh, GG. This mech. Down up. Down up. Yes, guaranteed. Yes, guaranteed. Wait. What? Wait, what? What happened? He uh, how could he jump? He was bleeding. Oh. Okay, he, he should have died before. The 4243 doesn't count as moving. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, nice. It was yeah. a really good knowledge from Amazon. Down to Down down. Okay, uh, 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 uh,
Another one. Shoulders. He's punished every single guy right now. Okay, hands will not blow. <laughs> That's the text. Okay, okay so we're not to blow. Okay, blow. Ah! Yes, it's, it's, it's very good. Stay in two. That's a true 50 50 right there. Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay. Nice. I'm done here. Okay. Easy. Give him a check. Oh, okay. boy. He has wake up options. What's, What's three? Do? Something crazy? Okay. Uh, one the round with and skip it attached with this it. Is so this is scary. That's, that's good. That's, no, just, that's just, actually good and bad for Kota Khan because now your opponent will not block. <laughs> yeah. Ever. <laughs> oh, he tried to close both, but. And that's really good knowledge from Peso knowing that the uh, board for four is up to two. Ooh, all these flawless blocks, calm down, guys. It's just a game. Oh, uh, yeah. What was that uh, whiffing down to? Mm. Kotal comes down four in this current patch of the game is so scary. The fact that he can just make you block four two. Off a poke. Yeah. It's fantastic. He has the right read yeah. here and never say never with the damage. Yeah. Oh! Why would you do wait. that? Okay, wait. No, oh, he wasn't dying. I was like, scared. He's not gonna die. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> if he had a 1100 life bar, then. 100%. Yep. Love yeah. him. Yeah. him, honestly. Yeah, they can't buff him. Give him 1200. He's, he's no losing problem. to Shiva. Of course he needs buffs. Yeah. Four, four of one mid. <laughs> Ooh, but make all right, it, all right, all right. Tekken, make it calm like down. Slower, slower, slower. Make Tekken, it slower. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> ten, ten, ten frames. Come on, ten frames. No, no, no you can't make it a mid ten frames. You have to make it slow. What do you mean you can't From make it a ten frame mid? I, I do think you play this game. Explain yeah. Jackie to me. Jackie. She has everything. Four three. Uh, her custom is what made her really broke, you know? <laughs> her custom is just too good. 1-1 one, one here. In this grand final. The Middle Eastern region of the world. So many countries represented. We've seen yeah. so much talent from start to end. In Global Mortal Kombat, it's a beautiful fucking thing. I hope you guys yeah. enjoy it. The stars of this tournament is definitely Mr. Black and uh, Zombies and Zombies. Yes, Scarlet and Kodo, let's go! Yeah, just switch the flags. Oh, yep, that's on me, that's on me. Uh, okay, so. On Zombies, come on through. Come on now. Okay, so he's still mm. with Shiva, although he lost the first game, then he won with her. Now, just. Having to deal with the nightmare. Dragon stands. Check those quickest mid though. Really smart. Oh, 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 he wanted to punish me. Yeah, he wanted to punish me. He is a mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, Can we man. just stop breaking away from Kotal Khan in yes, general? Yes. Just don't do it. This is grand finals, guys. 1 1, the down 1 Jaguar. Whoa. Hunt playing kind of scary. 4 3 4. Back throw, back skip throw. it, but it's already the game for mm. and Zombies one game away from resetting the bracket and sending Shiva with a gravity out forever. I don't think we will see her again if he loses again. Mm. Do, you, do you feel like he's doing this just because he, he has the set to play with? Yes, uh, I think he um, feels it on a try to adapt with the way Hanzom is playing, maybe he can. I still believe that Shiva does well against Kotakan, but uh, Faisal is playing too risky and uh, he need to play more patient. Yeah, because uh, Hunt's being really risky as well and it's it's paying off because those stray hits, all these breakaways, they're immediately yeah. putting him at, at life alert and he's fighting yeah. from a health deficit and this variation of Shiva's not dealing an awful lot of damage outside of the Crushing she has blows, the etc. Yeah, she has the shoulder launcher, but you can break actually after the shoulder 
because it's very hard to get the armor break out of it. Yeah, you have to wait is, forever. Is, is, no, even even though it's, it's very hard, just I tried it. Just, <laughs> I, I don't do it anymore after Listen, the shoulder. If you're saying it's hard, I believe you. Yeah, because sometimes it whiffs and it has tons of recovery. So like he, he can just Jesus. wake up. What the hell? Jesus. Oh my God, that was no. the end. No, he, oh. he's, he's Put the pad down. Put the pad down. Put oh the pen down! He's dead. Sunray, Sunray. God Sunray. Ray, praise the sun. That was the most cold round I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> Put that one on Twitter. Yeah. Oh. He's, be he's being stubborn. That was intentional from Fraser. We don't want to get conditioned. Yes, we are from the Middle East, bro. Condition us. It will take e ages. Even if it will cost us thousands of dollars, I will still jump. Nah. <laughs> Even if it costs us a thousand, thousands of dollars. <laughs> thousands of dollars, yes. We don't care here, bro. Deal with it. Thank you all for the donations as well. It's still active. Exclamation point, Matcherino in the chat. Guys, kid. Prime oh, he, he wanted to anti-air with a down too. Oh my god. I'm not just being too savage, bro. Chill. Okay. Yes, I'm not out from it yet. Okay. You need to just. Calm down. Okay. Yeah, first time. Oh, the recovery! Oh my god, that was almost a punish. Okay. Doom! He wanted to interrupt it, but. Is the whole strength. Oh, that's too sad. That mm. you cannot actually do a combo out of the whole sport for anymore. Yeah, before, you know, when. Like, Dragon Stance was better. <laughs> you could have done the whole 4 4 into Dragon Stance. It will connect, but not anymore. Raising the sun, that's got him punished every single time! But with that drop, that all of a sudden becomes a winning uh, situation. Harbat on that side, man. Harbat! Oh my god. Oh, every totem, he's, he's been so aggressive afterwards. Yes, huge yes. ass! He's dead, that's Two a reset! Heads. That's why That's why people don't like to play against Kodakan. Four hits and you're dead. Mm -hmm. Five hits. And, and you're dead. He, he's damaged. Bam, 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 thank you, man. The reset bracket. Reset! From Han Zombies. Raising the sun all the if way. If he wins this tournament on zombies, just, up, up, up. he's a legend. He's just a legend. Uh, Will we see the Cetrion all the now? way from losers? Hamu was the only one who could beat him. But even though it, it wasn't so easy for him to do so. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we will not see anymore. Uh, Shiva from PS5. No way. No I way. I think it's Cetrion. No way. It's DG's for Shiva. No, no, I don't think he will fix this right Oh. Oh! It's business time! No more. So, this is actually like, a, this is a really cool matchup in general, just because yeah. he has totems and, and cat. Yeah. Like, that's actually what you want against Cetrion. Yeah, if, if Han Zombies makes it and wins against Cetrion, face of Cetrion, and this matchup, uh, He's officially the best. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm saying yeah, that the same thing. Even after the, the, the nerf to the life bar. Yeah, uh, Dragon thinks that this matchup is tough for Cetrion. I think it's 5-5. Five, five, but... She can control everything in this matchup again. That's the problem. Yeah, the, the damage the only, difference. The only issue for Cetrion is, is the damage difference. Where yeah. this right here, now they're even. Yeah. Also, um, the EX disc, you know, you can low profile it with down 3 to down 4 set you on after 4 to 4. And you can punish the beam. So, just... Yeah, it's yeah. actually a, a lot safer right there. Yeah. But not where Hunt wants to be here. Full screen. Let's get a little bit of sun up. But the problem in this matchup as City on is that if Cody Town takes like a great life lead, just put the sun and. Mm -hmm. Stay on the beach. Oh, those recoveries. Yes, yes. A couple of Jaguars have been have been well timed. Yeah, they just, she's not in punishable state. Oh, good reversal by Basil right there. Not falling for the. Oh, okay. Okay, one touch. Jump. Oh, that was too risky from Basil. Guaranteed. Yeah, Basil. Plus one. Did Jump. your heart skip a beat too? When a faceful yeah. jumped? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, wait a second. Anti crossover down one fatal? Could have happened, but not today. Faceful. 
Sun's always jumping all over the place. Yeah, you're not using Kabar, bro. Here we oh, go. Finally, finally punish the boulder with the cat. Okay, he's loading the totem. Yeah, after 4 to 4, it's officially your turn is over. Nice. Corner carry now, and damage. You can just uh, stay in the corner. Yeah, he, he's gonna go to the corner. He's gonna go to the corner. He, he has to. Oh, he went in? What? Try to get aggressive here. Bold move, we'll see if it pays off. Just to the sun. On zombies, what are you doing? Uh, maybe he's afraid from a 2 1 3 crushing. Possibly. But the only thing that he has to fear right now is a crushing blow. He got smoked for Oh, one touch. Oh, one touch. Oh! Nice. Yes, it. Yeet! And the side switch. Cold yeah, he blow. always does it tons of bits after 1 1. Sending one with it. on. He goes for the fourth one, which makes sense. As you don't want her to backdash or, or try to stagger you again. Although it should be a, a trait. Oh, beautiful anti. So far away, the face looking sure like rid of that. Just in the one stand one would be a little bit cleaner. No mix ups at all. Hunt Hunt is not using stand one or stand one two tick throw, but it's also probably the reason why he is where he is, Tekken Master, because a lot of go for the mix yeah. and they're wrong and then they die. Yeah. And Zombies is, is the safest uh, go to the county with you. <laughs> Probably oh. how you should play the character. <laughs> yes, yes. Everyone take notes. I'm taking notes too. Okay. So... What is this doing? Ooh. He's trying to keep Kotekan away from... Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna require two... Okay, now three really hard reads. I wanted to use the interactable, but... The command grab was faster. Okay. Okay. Oh okay, I'm Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my he's god. He's not no. gonna release the frost. He's not gonna release. Now he will. Oh, your turn oh. Is over. See, that's the problem in this match. Your turn after 4 2 4. Mm -hmm. is it's gone. Done. It's gone, yes. Mm -hmm. Even with the X disc, you cannot provide it. And even if you do the X disc, she has the stone wall. <laughs> stone wall mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. just. Mm -hmm. Make you do nothing. No, that was almost gonna be a clutch from on zombies, but face or combat playing this matchup really well with Cetrion. This matchup is not easy to play with as Cetrion, guys, trust me. Especially when fighting on zombies. Ah, uh, some people they are laughing at the variation name that Faisal has, which is Cetrion. top seven. Cetrion. Yeah. Ooh. Top seven. She is top seven. After the, the latest update. <laughs> yeah. Jack the mm. reset. Yeah, I think Han Zombies should pick the air cat. Did he pick it? No, oh, he didn't. No, grounded. Okay. Grounded, yes. Okay. Game two. Round the reset. One. That was still really close though. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so there you're, you're already seeing Hunt know that he's going to lose his turn beyond 4-2-4 four, four, and just yeah. staggering the 4-2 and then replaying some mind games around him. Yeah, I'm not but sure that's, if that's, that's, that's the best thing command grab against her. Yeah, don't force the turn, don't force anything. Oh. Boom. I don't think that okay. Hunt has gotten a safe god ray out one time in this top eight. Uh, it's, it's hard, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's been clipped every single time. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Skip it! Ooh. Damage at 21% out of the throw. Okay, one touch. One touch! Oh, oh no! Always do forward one two right there. Oh, yes, the time was dead. Always do forward one two. Jumping into standing one, that is very... Bad. No! Oh, yeah. On the double heartbreak. Just, yeah. just give me a third one while you're at it. Just yeah, head, head down four. Oh, oh my god! He actually risked that. We saw him do that earlier in. I, I think it's before. worth it because it will take the round. But. Mm. 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 He was impatient. Yes, risk. He had the life leash. Yeah, Cetrion's down 4, with Johnny Cage down 4, Iron Bags down 4, they are really ugly. I don't like... I... <laughs> you cry a Lebanese? No? 
I respected you enough. Ooh, disrespecting the one two on hit. Hold this on. Yes, bro. He has. He, he won one game. Why not? Make him be the grab. Okay. Another one. Wham. Bam. And thank you, ma'am. Okay. Oh. Ball in neutral. Again. No, yeah, this this. Ah, the micro deck. Have you seen the quick micro deck from Anzombies after the cat and provide? That's why they throw with the uh, block to punish, but unfortunately it doesn't have the launcher. I almost want to, I almost want to see him start doing a little more tick throws off the of stand one and stand two, because Basil's blocked yeah, every single. He he he's blocked it out almost 100% yeah. of the time, and if Maybe it wasn't 100% of the time, not. yeah. It's, Only because uh, of the attendance. It's risky now because they don't want to go too old. Yes, set Leon. He'll be pressed and uh, just. Yeah. This is all or nothing for Hans Zombies, in my opinion. If he loses this. Yeah, this is, this can be a tough deficit uh, to come out of. Oh no! Yeah. He's got a taste of his own medicine with okay, the armor right now. Yeah, I know. If, if Facer goes up to O, oh, he'll feel comfortable just. And that's got a con player, you don't want to deal with that. Mm. Damn it, we, we were so close! That was really good games from Fizz so playing really well against Kotokan. We were so close to potentially having Cetrion but, not yeah. win a single event here on the Coliseum but Global. He's I'm summoned. really surprised. Why Han Zombies doesn't believe in his cabal? He's better than Kotokan against uh, Cetrion in my opinion. Uh, I don't know man. But even if he uses his cabal now, Fizz or Combat will pick Jade or counter him with Sindir, anyone. Definitely. I'm shocked that. Cabal is not even a choice. I'm shocked Hun Zombie gave him some respect points right there. Cabal, 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 cabal. Just knowing the match. Oh, even, ah, even, even Hazel is telling them to go that's Cabal. That's a bait. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's a bait. Don't, if you don't do fall it, for the trap. It. Exactly. Don't fall cabal, for the trap. That's. Oh my god. <laughs> he said, no. do it. Oh boy. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will pick Jade for you. I will pick Jade even if I lose. Okay. Uh, okay. But but if Faisal knows how to play this match, Faisal yeah. knows how to play this match with Cetrion. It's really tough to beat him. Not, not easy. Okay. So, Cabal, of course, with the. Slide gas in the air and the air hook. Fight. You're gonna see, count how many jumps you will DC. Two. Ah, he, uh, why didn't you confirm? Not hot! So you do, you know, guys. Just jump with the ball. Yeah, see the damage difference, guys? Now it's very hard for, for Cetrion to come back from the life def deficit. Yeah, she, she has to hit him 17 times. To, yeah, to yeah, see? That's why Kabal is really good again. Yeah. So you have to, as Citrin, maintain that life lead against him. And to do so is, is very hard. It actually requires, I feel like, a very okay. defensive but now, mindset. But now we are talking cool. about one touch away from winning. As Citrin, 1 1 into Fatal Blow, 1 1. You will hit him with 1 1, I think. Uh, but uh, we need to do down 4 after 1 1 on zombies. Down 4 is a really good option. Okay. Trying to get space. Oh, oh, oh nice. It was a really good option select from Faisal. Even if he catch him there, it would still mm -hmm. connect. Beautiful. Yeah. Championship point now for, for Faisal. Faisal combat. Yeah. Not being afraid. Kabal, oh, he ducked. Who did he duck here? This is Kabal, bro. Not for the gun. Again! Again. But maybe just to condition him to go into round three. Ooh, and of course, there's no cornering Cetrion. So, uh, the problem with this matchup as Cabal is that it's really hard to punish uh, Cetrion's wall. Stone wall. They can only punish it with the down back wall, but still. Ah! Oh! Okay. I can't afford to take risks here. Then, then he wanted to 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 finish him with a 2-1-3. <laughs> he wanted to end yeah. it now, for sure. 100%. Yeah, okay, 100%. There's no so savage for that. Okay. okay. Respect the play, though. 
Okay, so now on zombie to be afraid to throw. I mean, not afraid to throw. <laughs> no, uh, random moment dashes. Okay. Ooh. This is one of the ways to deal with like a ball jumping. Air to air, jump two with the uh, setting on because it's really fast in the air. But is it oh, okay? That's what also a solution. Yes, yeah, so the boulder is a mix, either the air boulder or the grounded against uh, the ball. So if he has you with the air boulder, he's gonna do a no normal death. Ooh, lucky that's a drum. Oh yes, yes. This is this also you don't do against. Uh, he, oh, he, oh. oh no, he did it. Let me get it. Okay, did. okay, that, that happens, bro. Oh no, oh, no, it was right. GG to stay yes, yeah, he alive. He played really well, he played really well. Shout out to all the players who played in this tournament, man. Faisal, Hanzongri is our hero. Faisal Kompa, the you. champion. Coliseum. Middle East region. Congratulations. GG's, GG's, GG's to you guys. And thank you for watching. Thank you for the support and everything. Aquaman and all the protection team. And uh, Hunt Zombie is the hero we need. Almost beat Facer. He reset the bracket, but it wasn't enough. He had one I hell of a tournament. Everyone today had one hell of a tournament. The ball from the beginning. That's why having a coach is very important. Cabal is the best pick against the Trion of Terjit. You should consider her because Kotakan. I don't recommend Kotakan players to pick her. Take to pick him versus uh, Citrion. Mm. It's tough. It's, yeah, it's very tough. More so, more so, Faisal's style of of Cetrion. You know, if he, if a Cetrion isn't that good, Kotokan is a pretty good pick. But exactly. if they're if they're that yeah, solid, Cetrion, if they have that much knowledge, she could be the best in the game. Second best, only if you are too good with her. Not mm -hmm. like the other characters, like Liu Kang. You can just do two strengths. With Cetrion, you need to be really, really good with her. You know, every matchup and everything. That's why you see. Like, not a lot of players picking her, you know, because uh, she needs dedication. Once you get the ins and outs of her gameplay, she will be broke. And I think only Facer Combat and uh, Dragon who can do that with Cetrion. But that is going to be. I have Cetrion players, I enjoy fighting them. Like, <laughs> if you pick Cetrion for me, that's, mm -hmm. I, I will be the happiest. <laughs> Better than the other. You, you just go Cabal, right? Yeet? Cabal, any character, bro, any character. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you uh, so much. I enjoy fighting Cetrion. <laughs> but anyways, to congrats, to, uh, yeah, congrats to Facer again. Yeah, and I, I want to thank you for coming on Tekken Master as well, for giving me some more knowledge on the players and the region. Um, you guys are damn good at Mortal Kombat and video games in general, so fucking shout-outs to all, all, every single one of you guys because, you know, we just... We just we just put together a little show, but you know the show doesn't happen without you guys putting on performances, um, and I hope that this helps you guys out as well, getting your names out there a little more. Yeah. Um, hoping to do more in the future. It was we too will, good. We yes. will definitely be back. Yeah, we will for sure. All right, thank you so yeah, much, everyone. I'm gonna <laughs> Tekken Master. I'm gonna give you the floor before I go on my long rant to close this. Out. Give you the floor. Say anything you want. Shout out all your own personal stuff, Nasser. Everything you guys got going on. The floor is yours. Yeah, shout out to to all the people who tuned in into the Middle East tournament here. And uh, I enjoyed you guys entertained me. And uh, shout out to Nasser Esports, Aquaman, all the protection team. Uh, doing this. Uh, thank you guys for everything. And uh, yeah, GG's. GG's everyone. Thank you so much. Tekken Master, everyone. Thanks for having him on. I, I feel mad in Hollywood for, for getting someone like him. You you actually crushed it on the mic, by the way, Tekken Master. Might Thank be you. a commentator uh, in the future, uh, but you will but you aren't bad enough at the games yet to be a commentator. <laughs> yeah. <Jeez. laughs> I uh, hope you don't yeah, take any offense to that. Aziz always likes to, to get some attention. Shout out to Aziz for for um, giving us some tips and Twitter <laughs> for him. <laughs> For all the tech uh, on Twitter, for sure. And, and, and a text and, and Twitter. Allows it. You're stupid with that. Shoutouts for the, uh, for the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Thank you for the Sunray glitch. Thank you very much for that. Um, no, no one's gonna know what I'm talking about, and, that, and and that's for good reason. Thank you guys so much for watching. Final shoutouts to our sponsors here.
Hitbox. Hitboxarcade.com slash Coliseum. I'm going to put their, their final things in the chat. They're going to be here all season long. They're a presenting partner of the entire thing. And they're doing a lot in the FGC right now. They're actually sponsoring a lot of online tournament. And they're doing a good job of in injecting a little bit of life in the community. Shoutouts to them. And the Cartesian Project. It's a game that's coming out on Steam in 2022. It's... I'm going to put it in the chat. Hold on a second. That's a little, that's a little bit of a long one to type out. It's a fast-paced, first-person obstacle cre clearing game that you can do alone or you can do co-op with friends in an infinitely procedurally generated environment that changes, I think, every single time you play it. It's pretty cool, and it's made by people that play Mortal Kombat. Um, Cloud Scorpion, who has been in chat the entire time, is actually working on it. Check it out. Really cool. Yeah, don't, don't load it, guys. Uh, help Aquaman. Thank you so much. Yeah. It, 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 add it to your wish, wish list for when it comes out. Um, shouts to the production team, QR Gaming, for putting the entire graphics pack together that makes this thing look incredible. He also does a lot. He also built the web um, yeah. and everything. All the commentators that have been here so far. And I think that's it. I think I have nothing else to shout out other than we'll see you for Latin America. It's going to be incredible. I'll have top who is pretty much the main representative of that region as well it's just cool it's oh i might cut out sorry about that top siete games is going to be on with us for latin america We've been running latin america forever so shout outs to him it's going to be incredible thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you next here on the thank coliseum. you see you guys the coliseum studios is presented by hitbox Take control at hitboxarcade.com slash coliseum. And if you like what you've been hearing, it's our own official soundtrack. Purchase or listen today at coliseum.gg.